Welcome everyone to the Double Masters 2022 Cracker Box stream hosted by Vault Games. It's your boy Trent and Dylan in the chat today, everyone. So come in, say hello. We are opening a incredibly exciting booster today. It is two chat, two collector booster boxes of Double Masters 2022. Look at this freaking excited exciting song is definitely getting excited this is super oh we've already got a hydrate redemption i'm trying to do my intro i hold this for dylan so we can get the focus there you go perfect happy pretty card day happy pretty card day amary double double deckham says this is quadra masters 2022 it's actually oct oct what's the uh, what's the eight one anyway we've also got draft boosters as well let's go so very very exciting we're gonna check out the draft boosters and we're gonna move into the collector boosters as well now double masters big set Quite a huge price tag. Also, quite a few number of boosters today. So if you guys like the sound of my voice, it's going to be a lot of my voice today. What do you think of that, Dylan? Yay. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I gotta fix. I gotta fix the auto bot, the auto command. <laughs> Dylan's, Dylan's trying to help. The chat command. Uh, Sorry, Nilma, also in the chat. Hello, guys. Welcome everyone to the chat. I'm so happy to see all of you here today. This is going to be an awesome, awesome, awesome stream. Before, while Dylan does that, uh, as we do that, <laughs> yay, exactly. So as Dylan does that, I want to talk about as well this box we design. Go. Because uh, Dylan and I were first showing up, looking at this box ourselves, each other. Hey, there's the Streamlabs, beautiful. So that lets you pre-order. By the way, I'll mention it now before I go into this. As always, whenever we open these cards, Dylan's going to be putting them into the inventory as we speak, straight onto our website, so you can jump online and... Can you see my entire body in the reflector? <laughs> you can see my yeah. entire body in the reflector. <laughs> Hello, everyone. Anyway, uh, so very silver, very silver. So much voice, hopefully not no voice by the end. Exactly. $5 off a shiny XE card is good. Exactly. It's not $5 off. It's 5% it's off. It's 5% off. If yeah. you use the discount code VGLIVE yeah, while yeah. you're checking out, it's 5%. You know, if that's a if that's a $900 Liliana textured foil... That's quite a bit of money to get to that's take $45 off. $45 off. I mean, look, if you're using this code every time you're on our stream, you're just going to save a lot of money overall, which is great. And also, we have some of the more competitive prices on the market. So it's not even like you're you're getting base, best deals with us anyway. So jump on to singles.org games. But anyway, and that's also TCG singles.store for those as well. That also will take you to that link. Now, I want to talk about this box. We always talk about the box every stream. It's very important to Trent that we talk about the art of the box. So at first I saw this and I said, first of all, it's so impossible to see, it is not funny. You can see me better than the art. But anyway, I'll get it in an angle that you guys kind of get a good idea. But the art on this box actually has like a bunch of small little references in it, all the way through it. Over here, you can just make out the wing of Flickerwisp. Right, there you go, chat, right there. And you can also make out a little tiny Dockside Extortionist with the, with the new art hanging off his horn. I assume it's a mimoplasm based on the dinosaur head and all that nonsense. I assume it's meant to be the mimoplasm. And then as a little like nod, a little like on the nose, on the back of the box, the magic symbol is gross and gooey because it's been plasmed. Look at that chat. I don't know. It's just very cool. I don't know. I went from like, this art sucks really quickly to being like, this is yeah. actually kind of the sickest art ever. It was, like, it was a solid two minute discussion of, <laughs> man, this art is shit. This is terrible. Literally. Why do they do this? And then it was like, wait a minute, is that Dockside Exhaustionist? I was like, yeah, and that wing there, is that Flickerwisp? Is that Flickerwisp? We're like, oh, you know what? There's a little diamond in there? Yeah, a little diamond in yeah, there. Right. Well. Yeah, we're salt. There's a little diamond hiding like really far. You can barely see it. It's hiding right there. There you go. Look at that. Very rat fink. Yes, very rat fink. All right. So, All right, let's do this. This is the boxes. Let's do this. This is an, a seat. This is still. Super you just need to tilt the camera down again. I do need to tilt, tilt the camera down. Thank you so much. I'll put it right there, and I'll get this ripped open. So we're going to start by opening up twenty-four draft boosters because uh, we're expecting double, two foils, and two rares or mythics in each pack. Yep. Uh, and then the double masters collector boosters will open afterwards. Now, but one thing to note is both of those collector booster boxes only have four boosters in them each. Four boosters, chat. That's so, four boosters. So it's it's not a lot of not a lot of stuff there, but there are six borderless alt arts in each collector booster pack. So, yes. Um, there's All the right. microplasm. There he is again, and he has a dock side in him. Oh, that's super funny. Who else is in there? Oh my gosh, chat! This is actually really nice art. What the heck? So he's got like a whole dragon going on there. I don't know who that meant to be. That's Mole Drifter. Yeah. That's Mole Drifter. Drifter. Look at that. That's is, it, is that a dividing top in the middle there? The little blue thing, or is that a potion or something? I, that's a it's a potion of some description. We've got um we've got Flickerwisp hiding in here. I think there's two Flickerwisps actually. 
Just super cool. Oh, the Bloodforge Battle Axe in his yep, knee? Yep. Bloodforge Battle Axe? So good it's unused on the Mimoplasm art. Exactly. Look how good this art is, chat. If I had a Mimoplasm with this art, I'd play it. That's amazing art for Mimoplasm. Ivan Chavrin, you worked hard, my friend. You worked very hard. All right, chat. Let's All right, talk about one last thing with the set, and that is that it is Double Masters. Most of you may know this, but some of you may not. This is a fully reprint set. There are no new cards in here. This is all going to be cards that already exist for Magic the Gathering. Some of the best cards in the format overall. Well, in, in all formats overall. So very, very exciting. And I love this Aminatu all over the box. It's really cool. A character that showed up once and was never relevant ever again is apparently all over the box. So very cool. Well, they reprinted her in this. Well, that's it, isn't it? So let's Yeah, get... Cryptic Spires. Yeah, I right, can. Cryptic, Cryptic spires. spires, though. That's cool. It's I'm the very... one new mechanic. Yeah, sorry, Kian. Sorry, we do have Cryptic Spires. So... I'm going to grab this booster. This is going straight to Dylan to open up. <laughs> and I am going to open up this one. <laughs> All right, chat. Let's see how these ones open up. Oh, already feeling really good. Oh, oh these open smoothly. That's what you want, chat. That's what you want. So, so there's, that, there's that Cryptic Spires. I want to make sure. Oh, there's that Cryptic Spires. So chat, the very first and only new card from the set, Confetti. Please bring your own hole punch to draft. Exactly, right? So, Sherlock Law's redeemed Hydrate. Oh shit, I have two Hydrates to catch up on chat. Alright, I'll get those two Hydrates right now. Cryptic Spires! Uh, as you create your deck, circle two of the colours below. <laughs> Mark your card. Cryptic Spires enters the battlefield tapped, and it taps one matter of either of the circled colours. I'm glad this card's crap, chat. Like, I mean, it's the testing ground, I think, for them doing this kind of mechanic. I think it's good, I think it's interesting, I think it's fun. Confirm base set, because Appling token, exactly. Uh, bonus Borderless in every draft with Cryptic Spires. Exactly, that's a bonus Borderless card. You're not going to play this in most formats, um, in any format except a draft, but it's cool. It's just a cool card. And look, the art's pretty nice, so. What okay, alright. Not not a bad pack. Alright, so. As we open the first pack, can you believe it, chat? I have a Cryptic Spire as well! Yeah, let's there get excited. I've, uh, I've built this so that the last five cards are relevant. Well, for me, I have just opened the booster. We'll see how they, they've set it up. Oh yeah, ballpoint pens will mark the card. Yeah, exactly. So you have to use like a marker, like you have to literally use like a like a whiteboard marker, I guess, like a red marker, just top them, I guess. But yeah, a, you can't use a ball. Yeah, you can't use a ballpoint pen because you feel on the other side of the card. So who knows? We'll have to when we get to the draft ourselves. We'll have to find interesting ways around yeah. that. I think we'll just have a big box of. We've got a little stamp. <laughs> oh, that's true. No, I think stamp. it's a bit of a mess. I was gonna say we should probably just get like a bunch of red markers or something. Yeah, that's true. Bring them along, whiteboard markers. Alright chat, so we got Settle Beyond Reality. A card, I'm not going to talk about every single common, guys. You know how I get. But, oh, Sleeves with Pens. That also works exactly. Yep, Sleeves with Pens. That's how you would do it if it's your own card as well. But I think people will just want to like... I think especially in the draft environment, guys, you don't care about this card to look after it. So I think it's one of these cards that most people are just going to actually draw on. Like, I know if I'm in the draft, I'm just going to draw on this fucking card. It's not useful to me. Like, literally, I'm just going to not use it outside of the draft. So, should have entered tapped, choose two colours. Um, you know, that's, yeah. Then it's like a... Maybe that it's like a land that's a little bit too efficient, if that makes sense. Like, I know it's still like to tap to pick two colors, but like, it's always, it's like when you play it, you pick two, right? So now it's a Wooburg land, basically, right? Because it fixes whatever color combination you want. So it's better than every tap land ever, if you just say that, right? It's better than every tap land, because it just is all two. Would love that for budget Wooburg. Yeah, exactly, exactly. But I don't think that's necessarily valid. Uh, sorry, I don't mean that in the sense of I'm attacking poor King Color Specialist. I just think it's like, could this card's only valid in draft chat? Let's, let's get past it. It's just a draft card. It, it's not meant to be like, we're not breaking the bank here, chat. All right. So Settle Beyond Reality, very cool card. Exile creature you don't control, and then exile creature you do control and flicker it. Really cool. Really cool. Yeah, one thing to note is it's um, is it flicker value in Esper, I think, is one of the draft archetypes. Oh, yeah, so, it is. There's a flicker, yeah. Esper. Actually, I'll pull up the draft archetypes. Yeah, have a chat while I bring look through these cards. Uh, let's see. Oh, this is the, um. there's like a red, white, plus I think maybe black uh, uh, it's target. Ni it's Naya Heroic. Naya Heroic, sorry, I thought it was black, yeah. yeah. So it's right, red, on. white, green, heroic, which is really cool. I put this together yesterday on our store intranet. <laughs> you did, yes. That's why I got confused, because I thought I read. Uh, so we got Flicker Value in Esper, so Flicker your creatures for fun and profit. We got Graveyard Midrange for Grixis. So harness the power of your graveyard to disrupt. Classic Jund. Black, red, green, my god, is that a Chaos Warp already? It's, it's a Chaos Warp already, but don't worry, keep going, keep going. Uh, we'll come back to the Chaos Warp, chat. Classic John did black, red, green, utilize high strength creature removal, and individually powerful self-sufficient threats. Uh, heroic aggro in Naya, red, green, white. Big ramp in Bant, green, white, blue. Sacrifice in Mardu, red, white, black. Mid-range ramp in Temu, oh, green, blue, red. 
Plus one, plus one counters in Abzan, not surprised. White, black, green. Uh, Prowess is back in blue, red, white from, from Khans as well for Jeskai. Uh, we got Graveyard Growth in Soltide, black, green, blue, uh, yeah. which is a little bit of a different line than what, um, what Soltai was in Khans because Soltai was more about Graveyard Growth and then delving with it. I don't think Graveyard Growth has too much delve. In yeah, this. I think it was more like a mid-range archetype, right? Soltai yeah. um, in yeah. Khans. It was more like a delve mid-range archetype. But yeah, it's pretty cool. So for those that don't know, Heroic is an ability that um, allows people to get a benefit from every time someone casts a spell targeting a creature that has Heroic. And yeah. it's, usually, it's usually the person who owns and controls the creature that targets that creature. Yeah, it's when a you cast a spell that yeah. targets them. Here's an interesting part about Heroic, though, is that it's one of those, like, it's the OG, like, um, flavor text mechanic. Because yeah. Heroic was like an italicized... Like keyword. Flavor keyword. It was a yeah. keyword. It was a flavor keyword, and they changed it to basically just like they stopped printing heroic cards, and now they just have a bunch of cards to say when you cast spells to target them, you do things. So Chaos Swap already. We're gonna talk about the cards chat. Chaos Swap first rare of the pack. I'm super happy with Chaos Swap. Foil and non-foil. Fo uh, non-foil. Cool. Uh, my two foils were commons, and then next is woo, Thraximunda. Very cool. Very cool. Love this guy. Is that Dak on art? Uh, no, that's our uh, Raymond Swanland. Oh, Raymond Swanland. Yeah, that's Raymond Swanland's art. Uh, Thrax, Thrax, Thraximunda. Oh, yeah, it's such a weird name. He has a really nice secret layer where he's like a metal cover. Uh, it's just a regular non-foil. Just a regular non -foil. Cool. In the system. To go through the rest of the pack, Scion of Darkness. Raymond, draw a card with no spikes, please. Ors of Pontus. Draw a card with no spikes, exactly. Ors of Pontiff, Greyblade Marauder, Spark Mage's Gambit, Wingsteed Rider, Sensor Splicer, Jeskai Elder, Liliana's Elite, Deadly Recluse, Coiling Oracle, it's Hissing Coil Aguinar. Is Coiling Oracle still chased? I don't think so, but there is a um, full art that'll be worth something in this set. Yeah, yeah, there is a double art. Yeah. A art. The Hissing Aguinar is a really good card. It's a great card to see back in the, like, kind of available, because you don't see many people play this card. It says whenever uh, another creature dies, anybody's creature, have it deal one damage target player or planeswalker. Uh, it's basically a blood artist in red, more often than not. Um, it just kills people. Very good card, Hissing Aguinar, so get your hands on one. All right, let's have a look at what Dylan pulled today. So kicking it off, we have a foil comment. It's Kruin Striker. Salt Ice Soothsayer is following that. Slesnia Sanctuary, these cards have full arts in the set. Disfigure. Kazmina's Transmutation. Balustret Spy. Relief Captain. Makeshift Mauler. I love Grapple with the Past Chat. Instant Speed, very good. Cartel Aristocrat. Cartel Aristocrat in the common. Let's go, chat. Very cool card. Love Cartel Aristocrat. I, actually, there's two cards in that pack that are new to Pauper. Yeah, what was the other one? You'll see. Oh, I'm not there yet, am I? Beautiful. We've got Mentor of the Meek. This is now a legal commander in a Pauper commander. <laughs> yeah? Yeah, because it's uncommon now. And it's worth a dollar, so yeah. it's still worth a lot to have, so put that in the system. Yeah. Why not? I put it in the system, I put it with the pile. And then we've got Abbot of Carol Keep. I remember playing this when I was doing, um, was it Red White um, Warriors? Or Red White Renown in Standard back in Origin time. Yeah, yeah, exactly. This card's really good. Is that a foil or non foil? It's a foil. foil. It's a foil chat. Oh, sorry, chat. Yeah, yeah. Is that, um, is that like focused well? Or is it yeah, my, yeah, is yeah. my eyes? It's just, it's just my small eyes, yeah. There. It's just because small. And if we've got Imperial Archangel, an awesome bant flying shroud angel, by the way. All damage we dealt to you is dealt to the Imperial Archangel instead. This would make a great legendary card, by the way. Yeah. This is like a Robo of the Rich situation where I'm like, God, I wish this was legendary. Yeah, I wish that was Commander. Yep. And then speaking of Commanders that we wish, it's Verena Lich Queen. Whenever you attack with one or more zombies, draw that many cards, then discard that many cards, you not, gain that much life. In non a non-foil. Cool. Sorry, I'll, I'll, I'll say foil. Sleep yeah, definitely, definitely. Please. Sleep it? Absolutely. And then Monastery Swift Spear in the common. Oh my gosh, chat. It's not a foil, but it's amazing. God, I wish Verena was a commander. I know, chat. Oh god, I wish. What a cool... It makes such a cool, like, um, Angel Tribal commander. Because it gives Angel Tribal access to blue, which I think is really good. What do you think about that key in Golden Specialist? Um, very cool. So I'm going to put this in the sleeve as well, just because there's an extended card. New to Pauper, Monastery Swift Spear. Red deck wins all-rounder during, all uh, during the Tarkia season. <laughs> Yeah, standard. Dude. I mean, even long after that in modern, right? Modern yep. Swift Spear, been a big modern piece for a long time. So I think it kind of went out the wazoo with um Dragon's Rage Channeler, but it's still yep. really good. It's still I really good. I like it in Pauper. I really oh, really it's, like it. <laughs> I think it's like insane. I used, I used to play mono red like um was it mono red like just burn in 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 Pauper with like yeah. needle drop and stuff. Yep. yep. So Monastery Swift like Spear just will go go well. Yeah. Yeah. That's cool. 
Definitely, definitely. All okay. right. Galvanic Bolt or Galvanic Relay or something like that. It was a Galvanic thing because I had um, Artifact Lands in it as well. Yep, of course. A Galvanic thing. You know how it is. Yeah. yeah. Woo! All right, chat. So, Bear Token. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, it's got that three strikes. This is from the um the Fight the Bear art. That's the same bear yeah. that fought the Khan. Good sure. expires. Oh, my gosh. Woo! Skeleton Archer in foil. Avon Ishii in foil. Nothing good. Mana Vault! Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> Mana Vault chat. No, nothing good. Nothing Mana good. Vault. Mana Vault on the very next card chat. Get involved. Mono Red Burn and Pauper is 90% a mono deck. A modern deck. Yeah, exactly, oh. isn't it? It's 90% the modern deck. Exactly, Kian. You She'll know. be banned in a few months. Yeah, she will be. Don't worry, Kian. But she won't be banned in Pauper Commander because there's only two cards banned in Pauper Commander. But yeah, what a card. You know what we should do for next time? Have a little, like, box calculator. Oh, yeah. yeah. We got, we're going to get that involved, chat. We're going to get a box calculator involved. And we're gonna get a, I'm going to put together a Double Masters, no, a box opening soundboard as well. All right. So then it's Darksteel Plate. Love this card. In the non-foil. Rancor is a great piece. Unearth is awesome. Darksteel Plate it. needs to go into a sleeve as well. It will. Absolutely. Yeah, 100%, mate. I, you're kidding me? It's Darksteel Plate. <laughs> like 50 cents so far, I think, says Deckham. Uh, yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. Like 50 cents so far, I think. Yeah, that Monastery Swiss is not going anywhere. All right. So... But yeah, if you don't know, the two cards banned in Pauper Commander, I think, are Mystic Remora and Ristic Study. They were, and they were only banned last year, fun fact. Zombie, Cryptic Spires, every pack, Blood War Entity, Last Breath. That's a really pretty foil. Wait. That's a pretty interesting card. The Last Breath. How do I not know about this card, chat? It's an instant speed 2 drop. Exile target creature power 2 or less. It's controller gains 4 life. I'm going to put that aside. Let me take it off myself. Unless it's worth anything, Dylan. Uh, I'll have a look on the tick because I just saw a song on Sunspeaker. And uh, it doesn't have a price in the system. Bloodwater Entity is very cool for Pauper as well, uh, Kian. Absolutable. Bloodwater Entity is awesome. It has no price. So it's going on the system, but it won't be live until we have a price for it. Sorry, chat. As always, classic stream shenanigans. Cards well, don't it's just, have it's no market price at all. Yeah, no, no. I'm not blaming our system. I'm just saying it is just a classic thing, right? Yeah, you know, too early. That, too early. We're just so on top of it, chat. But yeah, Fire Song of Sunspeaker, one of my favorite commanders of all time, by the way. Of it's, This is the, one of the GOAT commander designs, chat. Yeah. Six mana, four, six. It's a Minotaur Cleric. It says red instant and sorcery spells you control have lifelink, which is awesome on a commander. Very like, um, there's a Jeskai com uh, card that's like that. Um, and it says, whenever a white instant or sorcery spell calls you to gain life, Fire Song and Sunspeaker deals three damage to target creature or player. So it bolts someone that isn't, um, it bolts someone if you gain life with a white spell, and then it gives your red spells lifelink. So what you can easily do is you can easily, uh, it's not real, King Kong Specialist says. Um, it's not real, it's make believe. Um, is you can very easily play cards like Lightning Helix, which is a red-white spell that says, you know, deal three to target, uh, target, gain three life. All of a sudden, you're going to gain six life, and you're going to deal three more to somebody with the actual ping of it as well. So it's just really cool. I think this card's really amazing. Um, Lightning Helix style of cards is really interesting, and this is a really interesting angle for Boros to go down. Um, it's a classic from Dominaria. It's not a new card, obviously, but it's a great card. And Zoltan Boros always coming in clutch with the Minotaur art. They look gorgeous. Oh. Wasitora, Nekoro Queen. This is its first reprint? Yeah. Yeah. And probably its first non-foil. Yeah. It's a flample Cat Dragon. This is, by the way, one of the best tokens of all time. I hope it comes in the set, the same token. The green has, Cat Dragon. Yeah. It has really, really nice token. So it's... I really liked it as a commander. It's a good commander. So it's a 5 out of 5 for Flying Trample. It's a flampler. Whenever Wasitora, Nekoro Queen deals combat damage to a player, that player sacrifices a creature. If they can't... You create a 3-3 black, red, and green cat dragon creature token with flying. The OG cat commander. Very, very cool. I really recommend playing Wasitora. She's really, really good. I really I like this. I may consider making that if we do double masters for hardcast. Yeah, which, which we will. You know, we yeah. will. Very cool. Uh, all right, so... Um, Unbarrel Rights, cool card. Terminates, brilliant. Blood War Anti, mate. Rears ugly head. Martial Glory. Um, this is an interesting card because it does fit into that Fire Song Sunspeaker archetype, but also doesn't like gain life or deal damage, so not really. Uh, Capture Sphere, Ballastrude Spy, Relief Captain, Crimson Striker, Burning Tree Emissary. Look at that search for me. I don't think it's worth much, but give it a search. It it's has been a printed a lot. Yeah, it has been. That's why I was just double checking because it is a cool card. When it, it's a two mana two two, when it ETBs, you gain two. Uh, it's a dollar. It's pauper. Yeah, put it. Yeah, in. why not? Why not? Just throw it in. 
And then our uh, Ambuscade. We're not going to put every single one of these cards in. We could put a couple of them in. Just these uncommons. And yeah, let's keep going. Elemental token! Wow, we've got Cryptic Spires. Can you believe it? Blood Braid up in the foil. Let's look that one up. Blood is Braid that new to up. Uncommon? Or is it I always... don't think so. I think it was always an uncommon. Uh, yeah, 450. Yeah, definitely. We've got Shadow Border Parcel in the foil! Oh. Yes! It's a Shadow Border Parcel! I'm so excited for this reprint and it's in foil! Oh my god. 1750. Are you sleeve that, babe? Oh my chat! Smothering Tithe! Foil Shadow Border Parcel and a Smothering Tithe chat. I need to get some sleeves. It's also a Duran the Siege Tower, but it's hard to get excited for Duran. Eh, uh, yeah, it's Doran. <laughs> it's Actually, um, speaking of King and Goblin Specialist, he played a really interesting Duran deck that I... Uh, I never got a chance to burst it myself, but I watched a lot of games of it play, and it was pretty cool. So I like Duran. Duran's really cool. We've got Myth Realize, Costial Heart, Mole Drifter, Martial Glory... Hey, I'm sorry, did you say Mole Drifter? Yeah, I wouldn't worry too much about this version, because there's lots of foils and stuff. It's just oh, normal okay. one. There's nothing special. But I have a Seeker of the Way! Alright, just like a little common extended. Very cool, very cool. Halfway through the pack. And Experiment 1. But I don't think that's worth much. But it's a cool art. It's a normal art. Experiment 1. It's a common. It's always been a common trend. Nah, it's a dollar. Yeah, it's not. It's very yeah, cool though. Yeah, Love the nah. art. Love the art for Experiment 1. It was yeah. Tree Folk Tribal. Yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, it's Duran the Siege Tower, right? It's probably going to be Tree Folk Tribal. When he says your creatures deal toughness, uh, damage with their toughness, uh, you go into the big toughness creatures in Absan, which is Tree Lords. <laughs> tree Folk. Sorry. But very cool. Saproling. Whoa, it's another Cryptic Spires chat. Foil Pen Harmonicon chat. Oh my god, I'm on a fucking rampage chat. I'm going crazy right now. Let me get that sleeve. Oh my gosh. Oh my god, I got the hiccups from the, from the hydro. Foil, foil Catch Sphere. Oh, we got the Thousand Year Storm as well. I'm going to sleeve this Pen Harmonicon while I'm here. Also, Thousand Year Storm, is that a downshift? Yeah, is that not a mythic? Is it not usually a mythic? Yeah. Uh, let me have a look. I think Thousand Year Storm was a mythic when it released chat. What do you think? It's now a rare. You know, this card kind of should have always been a rare. Hitting yeah, on Cryptic mythic, Spires yeah. too. Yeah, yeah. Really could have always been a rare. I don't really understand why this card was ever a mythic. It's six mana. Anyway. Probably maybe because for the of all the copy stuff in, in, um, in the draft environment at that point. Yeah, I guess it's a good point. Oh, uh, maybe just, yeah, you know what? The mythic was probably just for the draft. You make a good point, yeah. Probably just for the draft. Um, and then a bunch of other cards and boys. Yeah. All right. We're well, pretty good so far. We're doing really well so far. I'm really happy with the result of it all so far. Don't forget, you can pick up your Double Master stuff right now at boardgames.com.au. If yes. you are based in Australia, we ship Australia wide. You can pick it up. Ooh, you want to check out Young Pyramids on the foil? Rares are often more viable than Mythics. Um, yeah, I think so. I think so, definitely. Rares definitely are often... Yeah, it's a dollar fifty. Yeah, chuck it in there. Um, Scale Blessing's a pretty instant, interesting card at instant speed, but it's not very good. Leonin Arbiter. This card's a piece of shit. This card's a POS. One and a white for a 2-2. It's a bear, and it's a hate bear, and it'll make people really hate you. Because it says, players can't search libraries, and any player that may pay two for that player to ignore this effect. So it's almost like a weird, like, tithe. It's like a tithe effect, but you can't search unless you pay the two. And that's, you just pay the two once, and then you can always search, though, which is a bit better. Yeah. Mythic tend to be really splashy. Yeah, exactly. Was Modern Viable, was Modern Viable at one point? Leon and Arbiter? Yeah, I'm sure it would have been, right? But maybe we're talking about um, Thousand Year Storm, which does make sense as well, because it's a power, it's a powerful card, but again, it just felt like one of those kind of, sometimes a card feels mythic because it's really exciting. Does that make sense? Like, a card feels super exciting, so they slap a mythic tab on it. Maybe I'm wrong, though. Chat, who knows? Villainous Wealth. Speaking of people hating you for this card, I've seen a lot of stock from this card in the past. X and Sultai, black, green, blue, for target opponent exiles top X cards in the library. You may cast any number of spells from mana value X or less from among them without paying the mana costs. So basically you put 10 to this, for example, they exile the top 10, and you can cast any number of spells that seems to be 10 or less. Very good. In the world of treasure right now, I'm surprised that card's not seeing more play. Yeah, actually, it's very good in the context of like, get a bunch of treasure, go off. Yeah, really, really good. Also, um, it is a Zakama piece. Uh, not Zakama Trent. Um, it is a, uh, it's a Zed name. It's a Zed name. Uh, Zakama is the three-headed dinosaur. It's a, it's a. Oh, uh, it's the Nightmare Hydra. It's the tip of my brain. It's a Zed name. 
Zaksara, thank you, Kian. It's a dead <laughs> right, like god damn. Zakama, Zaksara, the Atora. Yeah, see what I mean? It's Thanks, the Talpa. No, it's the Talpa. It's the Talpa. Yeah, of course. Sorry, what I <laughs> double tapping. Anyway, yeah. <laughs> Sorry, that card always makes me laugh. But uh, yeah, so Zaksara, thank you. But the Atora is also very cool. But that's um, that's actually Junt or River Tears, and then a bunch of other crap. Oh, a Blood Raid Elf. What's the price on these guys normally? Rampant growth. A dollar. Mm, yeah, chuck it in. The rampant growth's interesting. Yeah, chuck that Blood Brave Health in too if you get the chance. Yeah, I got the Blood Brave Health in. Perfect, perfect. Ramp Gwee. <laughs> Thank you, Dakin. That's the correct answer. The Gwee. Gwee. <laughs> it's always Squee. Yeah, put it. It's 50 cents, but like... But it's a rampant growth. And it's... Is that older art? It's old really art, yeah. Really old art? Very, old, very old art, but on a new border, which makes it look really nice. Yeah, nice. And it's much more vibrant than the original. Like, I don't know. Maybe they did do some work to it. It looks a little bit more vibrant. All right, the rest crap. Okay, let's go! No, no borderless in that pack? Uh, no, I don't think so. Nope. Okay. Unfortunately, nothing exciting. So I guess borderless cards in the draft boosters have a regularity of around a foil. Like yeah. One in three. Because every pack has two way. foils. Yes, exactly. But not two borderless. I love this worm token. It's so gross. It's such a classic. Oh my god, I love Cryptic Spires. What a classic chat. Oh my god, thank god we got a Cryptic Spires in this chat. Ooh, a Traveler's Amulet. It's not worthwhile, but it's pretty cool. God's Willing, again, not worthwhile, really cool. Carador, Ghost Chieftain. This is a classic commander, actually. Really, really good, really classic commander. So he's 8 mana for a 3-4, which you go, um, question mark. He's a central spirit. He says, this spell costs one less to cast generic for each creature card in your graveyard. So if you already break this down instantly, it's very cheap. It's usually going to be 3 mana, and it can reduce its command attacks down. Yeah, 7th edition art, Deckham says. Yeah, exactly, classics. Maybe not the original, but very classic. The Carador, yeah. So, um, once during each of your turns, you may cast a creature spell from your graveyard. It's just amazing. Death tried to uncrown me, but now I return, king of a greater realm. Just amazing, Carador. So, really, really cool card, guys. If you want a really cool Abzan reanimated deck that kind of operates really, really consistently, feels a bit like Tassiga almost, really recommend Carador. It's a go-to. It doesn't combo very well, but it is really, really good. And I think it's good to also have a card that doesn't combo exceptionally well. You can also cast from your graveyard like a flicker and then do it again, you know what I mean? So, it's pretty cool. Weathered Wayfarer. Do I need a sleeve carador? I don't think so, right? Uh, no. No. Weathered Wayfarer is one of the preview Box event toppers. promos. Oh, okay. Sorry, I thought it was a Bokchopper. Preview event promos. Let's go. You need to put that in a sleeve, though. I will, I will. This is a normal one, by the way. No foil. Yeah. Perfect. Uh, Stagger Shock. Again, more gorgeous Raven Swollen art. So nice. He can make Lightning Spiky. All right, so then we got, you know, so cool. Annoyed Altasaur. That's a classic. <laughs> Annoyed Altasaur is actually kind of super good. I... Every time I see that card, I'm like, do I just play this? Like, I played one in my um, Gore Claw deck and it actually popped off. So, Chad, if you don't know what this common card does, it's a 7 mana 6 5 with Reach and Trample. So, they're just great mono green keywords. And it's got Cascade. Like, it's just good. I, I don't know. I feel like this card's really actually a genuinely good card. It's played in Pauper a lot. Yeah, it makes sense, right? Because it's a really good Pauper piece. Makes sense it's played in Pauper. But it's like just, even in the context of like an uncommon, even to a rare, this card's fine. I think it's keen for one in my Faldorn deck. Yeah, I think it's just a good card. All right. I just put the exposure on auto and it looks, Whoa. It, it looks so crisp. It's so much better. The, everything's better. All right, chat. From now on, auto exposure. Oh, I already saw a bit of a spoiler there, but that's okay. Cryptic Spires. Oh! What a gorgeous rampant growth. What does it go for? $12. All right, don't put that in the system. I'm going to buy it when we, when we finish. <laughs> I'm going to buy that immediately. That's mine, chat. I get my comment. I get my comment. You get one. And I one get my, we, look, we get one every time. We get one every time. It's gorgeous. $12, though. I'll buy that. I'll buy that myself. But that's okay, chat. That's, that's my one. That's my one. Arjun? Arjun, the shifting flame. Guys, can I just get it? Okay, I'm sorry, but I'm just getting a little bit emotional. These are the kind of commanders I remember. This is a commander I remember. Do you remember versing Arjun? Because I remember versing this card all the time. It was was a... he an alternate in the Niv -Miz in the Mizix deck? I think so. Yeah, yeah. Yep, he was. He was alternate in the Mizix. Arjun the Shifting Flame is a 6 mana 5-5 five, five Sphinx Wizard with flying. Whenever you cast a spell, put the, hands in, put the cards in your hand on the bottom of your library and draw them any cards. A member. A mem member, Barry member. A member. This is just a cool card, you know? Decks like, um, uh, what's her name? What's the three mana, uh, Ikoria Commander? She's like, you, when you discard a card, draw them any cards? You discard one or more cards, draw them any cards? Uh, I know, right? I like it's it. so hard now. See, it's just so many commanders nowadays for me. Anyway, 
they're just commanders have kind of put this guy off the Riel. Necrohawk says, you know what? I just pretend that I don't know them, so chat will tell me so we get the in <laughs> we get the interaction. Don't tell chat I know don't tell chat I did that though. Riel the Everwise, yes, uh it's a three mana awesome like wizard and she she goes super hard. Alright, Arjun the Shifting Flame. Conqueror's Flail, very good card. It gets one one for each color among permanents you control, and as long as it's attached to a creature, your opponents can't cast spells during your turn. Shut up, fool. We're playing Yorgmoth and Urza exactly right nowadays. It's a very, very good card, Conqueror's Flail chat. Just a regular? Yeah, just a regular one. Sleep that one. Yeah, absolutely. Like, um, yeah, no joke. Civic Saber. Oh, oh, okay. Oh, oh, oh. Crackling Doom. And. Is Crackling Doom? Boros Garrison! I think that's a downshift. Is that not a rare? No, it's it's a uncommon. Originally? No, it was a rare. That's, sorry, that's what I'm yeah, saying. Yeah. Like, yeah, sorry. So it is a downshift. Yeah, yeah. It was originally a rare. I thought so. Yeah, very interesting. Boros Garrison. Chat. Yes. This is awesome. I love this shit, dude. I love this shit. Also, by the way, I every time I build a deck chat, I have to have this conversation myself. Do I play Bounce Lands? I have this conversation every time. If you are in full art Bounce Lands chat, you don't have that conversation anymore. No. You, never you, put, you put them in the deck. You put them in the deck. Do I need to sleep that one? Uh, yeah, it's so. 11. It'll okay, probably, I'll go, it'll probably go down like tomorrow. Yeah, probably. But it's okay, I'll sleep it anyway. Why not? Uh, actually, yeah, I'll sleep it. Oh, chat! I never knew this card existed, okay? This card's sick. These commons are out of this world. Nullback Rhino is a 4 mana 4-4 four, four, trample. It is a 4 mana 4-4 four, four, trample in the common slot, it's okay? A, it's also been downshifted. It's also been downshifted. Yeah. It's now pauper legal and it says whenever you cast a spell that targets it, draw a card. Uh, yes, you play bounce lands. They draw you your next land. That's great, but I don't know if you always play bounce lands because maybe you just want to have a really aggressive deck. And you, instead of drawing your next land, you just want to draw a zero mana rock. Like, it was you don't last want to printed in Corset 2020 at an uncommon and that was it. That's the only printing? That's the only That's printing. why I didn't know it existed, chat. Dude, this is a huge piece in pauper. I think it's going to be a massive yeah. card in pauper. Yeah, it's definitely going to be big. I, I would not be surprised if we start seeing, like, um, Gruel Pauper decks that are just, like... Yeah, out of this world. I mean, there's really a lot of new... Really fast speed down. There's a lot of new really good Pauper stuff in the set chat, so if you're a big Pauper player, it's in the Garouk deck. It's literally exclusive to the Garouk deck?! That is hilarious, chat! That is the funniest shit! Well, either way, yeah. Garouk or Vivian, whichever one it was. But either way, the, we've, the Planeswalker deck of green, it was exclusive We've already to. sold the Smothering Tide. Yes! Let's go, chat! Thanks, guys, so much for all the support. We really appreciate it. Obviously, we're doing this all for you guys, so it's great to see that you guys are purchasing uh, cards during the stream. That always helps us keep going. Really gives us that push we need, right? That drive. Right, Dylan? Right. <laughs> right. I'm You're just... damn right. Imagine me doing the thumbs up computer meme with oh, the kid. Yes, but I sing. That's fucking hideous. <laughs> oh my god, this thing is... Chat. Yeah, alright. Okay, this guy slaps your girl's ass what you do. Look how awful that is. It's hideous. All right, I'm gonna pull it back, and we're gonna focus to there. It's blurst. It was the best of B boar tokens. It was the blurst of boar tokens. The only annoying thing about this is that it's a three-three boar, so I can't turn your stuff into boars and give you these tokens necessarily. Noted CDH player, yes, but actually, yeah, he is a CDH player. He's very big in a CDH. So, but then again, power to him. Extract from Darks of the Foil. Love this card to bits. Fiery Fall. Do you want to? No, I think this card's nothing. All right. Um, I want to have a look. I have a look. I don't know if it's anything. No. Nah. Lucid Angel TV says I'm gonna slap his sexy ass back. Of course. No, that's if he slaps your ass. Not if he slaps your girl's ass. You know what I'm saying? If he slaps your ass, you, you take give a good one back. Oh. All right, chat. Um, Nikaeus, Judith, the Scourge Diva, cool commander. This is a really like okay. Judith is a great example of a commander that's really good, but fucking hella boring. Yeah, hella boring. It's a good card. It's great to have a Rakdos Blood Artist in the command zone, but it's not. It's fun. it's definitely more of a ninety nine in a John deck. Than, yeah. Than a Rakdos Commander. I think as a commander, it's quite strong, but I prefer Jury. Exactly. Yes, I think Jury's yeah. just more interesting, though. I don't think Jury's better. I just think he's way more interesting. <laughs> Jury's the Jury's the goddamn cruise Uncommon. missile. Of a, yeah. 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 He's the fling. He's yep, the fling played guy. him a few times. Yeah, he's good fun. And Jury, like I said, has that kind of fling option, has a bunch of unique stuff. It's really Rakdosy, but. She just feels like you make a bunch of goblins, they all die and you win the game. And that's like fine, and that's good in Rakdos. Like, you know, Wart, Bogadani, it's good, but it's just not interesting. It's, it is whatever a non-token creature. 
Yeah, but I mean, you're doing a lot of like um, Astronaut's yeah. Altar with yeah. a goblin that generates two goblins and you sacrifice infinitely with um, Niv -Met Death Metal, so Niv yeah. Death Metal. So it's like, you're still sacrificing a non-token infinite time. So <laughs> I think in goblins you're going to be okay. <laughs> um, aha, it's travel preparations, it's nothing. Oh, that's the wrong place. And then, Young Pyromancer in the Borderless. Really pretty card. Cool. It's Beautiful. not really sleepable. Nah, it's all good. We'll put it, we'll put it with the cards though. Path to Exile. In the art, this awesome art. I love this art, Path to Exile. Let's that find was out. the promo art, wasn't it? Mm, I think mm. it was, yeah. From a while ago. Four dollars fifty. put that with the pile. Then we got a bunch of cool stuff. A oh, bunch of cool stuff, bunch of cool stuff. Lava Coil, cool card. Arachnus Web, let's go. Ooh, I hope the spider that gets this is in the set. Maybe I don't, because that card's really crap. That Burning but... Tree Emissary. Well, you had a Burning Tree Emissary at the end there. Yeah. Did I skip one? Yeah. Oh, it's the last card. My apologies, chat. Yep, Burning Tree Emissary. Thanks, Dylan. No worries. That, that's mate. why we have the king behind the... I'm at work and it hurts. <laughs> Fire Axe, no, don't be at work. It hurt. I like the chat when they say things like it hurts and it is as if I meant to know like with a delay like what they're referencing. <laughs> it is. It is. It, it truly can. is. You know what, Key and Goblin Specialist? It truly is, my friend. It truly is. All right, I'm going to... <laughs> Sorry, I'm just playing chat. Bear token, big bear. Indeed, M.A. he says. Carrier Thrall is also a downshifted. Oh, yeah, of course, of course. Cryptic Spires. Foil Slash New Sanctuary. Do you want to bring this one up? I don't think it's relevant, but... Also, spoiler alert, chat. You may see two cards in this pack. The Foil Slash New Sanctuary is $6. Let's put it aside, then. We're not aside, but sorry. Oh, like, that's because they're never printed in foil. They're well, so they, they were only printed in foil in what one of the original, original set. Ravnica set? Yeah, yeah, the um the the Ravnica City of Guilds. Yeah. So, so I pull a Kozlek or I'm downloading NordVPN. You should just download NordVPN. It's pretty good. I like NordVPN. That's kind of my VPN that I use every time. So I go to Nord. <laughs> but um, ExpressVPN. They're, pretty... pay... they're not paying us yet. No, they're not paying us. But Express. That's what I was going to say. ExpressVPN actually does offer some good competitive rates. Anyway, so Marshall Glory, Imperial Seal. Oh! This Imperial Seal was sponsored by ExpressVPN. <laughs> That's not true. Keep Put it your, right here. Keep, keep Put it your, right here. Put it right. That's not true. Not. We're gonna win the editor right now. In can real time, you gonna please edit. sleeve that? Maybe I have the top will. loader. I absolutely will. Because that just paid for the box. Yay, chat! This will down lead. Well, this pack is very exciting already. So, I want the government to have my data though. Let's go. Look, the just like. Just like an imperial seal blocks those from looking at your letters, NordVPN blocks your data. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so this is this is another system. Yeah, that's in there. Beautiful. I don't care anymore. <laughs> we got the imperial. Seal. We just done this. We just done the. <laughs> We're done now. We're done. Them down. Pack it up. Someone buy it. Is it Boilerworks? Oh, yeah. right. Let's go, chat. Is it Boilerworks? Is that a smothering type? Borderless. I don't want to say it is, chat. I don't want to say it is just yet. Smeckle One Q is getting excited though. Traveler's amulet. Dreg Mangler. Shadowborn Apostle! Shadow this pack is massive, chat! This pack is massive! I don't think it is. This pack is massive! Is it? It is. It might be. Well, let's find out. We're getting this early. Knightly Valor. Thought Scour with the new art. Amazing art by uh, Julie Dillon. Coiling Oracle, chat. It's a Coiling Oracle. This is Richard Kane Ferguson. So he's done a lot of art in the set. Um, it's a bit busy, but it's nice. It's a bit busy. But it's nice. And lastly, Hissing Aguana and Tusco Captain. So no smothering tithe. <laughs> Smackle one Q. What are you doing to the chat? What are you doing the, to the chat? The Imperial Seal's pretty good. <laughs> I mean, you can't argue with that. <laughs> don't forget, you can use I've the discount left... code VG Live. Yeah, don't forget that. To get uh five percent off your purchase only while we're live today. There's the link in the chat. Thanks, guys. I've actually left the Imperial Seal, Dylan. Like just here. You can see it right there, right there. Where is it? There. Yeah. Just so they can just, just they can just see it. They can just see it. Now someone buying an old kit with a NordVPN logo on it. Oh my fucking god, that's such a cool art for Anger of the Gods. Yeah, right? It's Hazaret. Hazaret. Oh yeah. Hazaret's disappointment at initiates who fail their final trials can manifest in terrible ways. Is it just a regular? It's just a regular, but it's cool. You know what else got uh, downshifted Come to common up. in this set? Ooh, what? Is it charm? What? That's an amazing card. How are these cards going? Ooh, they really want they really want to fuck with Pauper, don't they? Yeah. They really want to fuck with Pauper. Like, you guys like this format? Wait till we get a Hey, it's I, is this Pauper Masters? 
Oh my god, yeah, if you were doing this Commander Masters, they're actually Pauper Masters for sure. Remember, remember we were talking about possibly chat. doing like a Pioneer Masters or a Pauper's Masters? Yep. Hello. Hello, they were hearing us. They could hear us. They knew. It's all crap, right? Yeah, it's all crap. Beautiful. Okay, chat, we're deeper. We're getting deeper and deeper, deeper into the core of the earth. All right. That's actually a special, that's a line from the Dwayne The Rock Johnson, from the special movie he was in. Journey to the Center of the Earth 2. All right, Zombie, Cryptic Spires, Elite Captain, Doom Traveler, and Marchesa, or Marquesa, or Marchesa, or Marchesa, or Marchesus. Holy Marchesus, the Black Rose. Just a regular? Just a regular. Cool. Followed up with Twin Flame. Again, just a regular. Cool. Centaur Battlemaster. It's actually a really good card, by the way. Whenever you cast spell the targets and put three one one counters on him, five mana three three. Not bad. Uncommon. <gasps> Pauper Commander. Pauper Commander. Yeah. Pauper Commander. And you can play that Rhino in there as well. <gasps> and all the fight cards. Oh my god! Pauper Commander. Pauper Commander. And we're getting started. <laughs> it's Gargos, with troll. It's, it's Pauper Commander Gargos fight. Okay, chat. Speaking of, do you remember? LOL Troll. Bro, when I played Commander for the first time, this card... Well, no, maybe it wasn't the first time. But one of the very first few times I played it, this was a rare um, from, uh, from, uh, I want to say, I want to say, I want to say, like, Ravnica, City, Ra the new one, the new, Ra the, the, sorry, it's Return to Ravnica block, but it's the middle, it's Guild Pact? Is it Guild Pact? No, Is that you what? were talking about, uh, Gate Crash. Gate Crash, that's the one, thank you, Gate Crash. So I remember being in Gate Crash, right? It was a rare in Gate Crash. Now, I remember this uh, card- It was actually in Return to Ravnica. It was Return to Ravnica, yep. there you go, sorry, it's, there you go, it was Return to Ravnica. So, in Return to Ravnica, this card comes out. He is everywhere. Every Golgari deck is playing this card. And it says, Trample a 2-1 for 2 that says, Discard a creature card, put a 1-1 counter on it, and for a black, regenerate it. Like, it's just... I remember this card like being like, this is the epitome of a good 2-drop. And it's like, wow. It's really interesting that it's like, uncommon now. Just tells you how the game's gone. And the fact that you never see LOL Troll anymore. When was the last time you saw someone play a LOL Troll, unironically? Never. God, skin render? Yeah, I, see what I mean, shit. chat? What a, what a classic skin. That's right like there. a staple of any Negwon Negwon counter deck. If you're playing Hepatra or oh, Scorpion God, you yes. have Skin Render in your goddamn deck. It's in there. It's in there. Oh, I like Pirate's Pillage as well. Sorcery Speed, discard a card to cast it, draw two, create two treasures. Really good. Really good. There's lots of cards that do that now. My Magda deck likes all those new cards that do that. Bump the camera there, but that's okay. Golgari was really strong in pre-release. Yeah, I remember that. Yeah, actually. Gosh, what a what a time, chat. Nilma, what a long time ago. It really, it, it really wasn't in Guilds of Ravnica. <laughs> it really wasn't in Guilds of Ravnica, no. Cryptic Spires. Oil Kasali Prime Mage. Might want to look this up. I don't think it's worth anything, but look it up. I like Kasali Prime Mage. There's a new full art as well in the set. It's six dollars on the oh, foil. Oh never mind. There you go. That's why that's the way you always check. Do you want to check Carrier Thrall in this in the foil as well? Downshifted. Nah, dollar fifty. Oh, Kasali Pride made. Oh, I didn't even. God damn it. Are yeah. you kidding me? That's insane. Thanks, King Goblin. I didn't even notice this guy was downshifted. Wow, everything's getting downshifted this set. Grand oh. Arbiter Augustine the Fourth in the Borderless. Mm. What's he worth? It's 37. Ah, oh, we'll put him in a sleep. Put him in the system. We'll put him put in, him in the system. I might get him later. Might get him later. I don't, I'm not going to lie. I don't know how quickly this guy will sell because he's a Grand Arbiter. He is a good... People tend to have a, you know, two based cards. Oh, the downshifted ones? Absolutely. In this card? Mm. Alright, we've got Phyrexian Tyranny. Whenever a player draws a card, the player loses two life unless they pay two. Very strong. Phyrexian Tyranny. Very cool. He was c cursing Squee to live forever so that this guy could just beat the shit out of him for the rest of his life. Ah, Phyrexian Tyranny. Perfect. Uh, we've got Devoted Druid. Pretty cool. Uh, do you want to look to draw it up? I don't think it's worth a lot, but double take, double take. It's actually because um, Swift Reconfiguration came out and made this into a two card, three mana, infinite mana combo. Yeah, it's three. Yeah, so put this aside, yeah. In the in the system, sorry. Bear's Companion, pretty cool. Golgari Rot Farm! Let's effing go! And then a bunch of stuff behind it. Ooh, here we go! Rampant Growth as well, and Golgari Rot Farm. Very nice chat. How amazing are these Borderless cards, chat? Super nice. So that Rampant Growth is in the same pack? It's in the same pack, and it's a um, and it's a non-foil. I think I've both... already bought the foil one. We have. Uh, did you put that in the system? Did you? Because I thought you didn't. Oh no, I didn't. I yeah, didn't yeah, you're good. Don't worry, you're good. Seeker Squire downshifted. Seeker Squire downshifted. Seeker Squire. Yeah, I mean that's okay. It's an interesting one. This is downshifted closer to its actual value. 
<laughs> it explores when ETBs, it's fine. It is when ETBs, not on combat damage, right? It's when ETBs. Yeah, it's it's pretty good. I like it a lot. But it's it's much better in Pauper than it would be in something like Pauper Commander, for example. Get ready for the stacks deck. Let's go, Nilma says. Let's get ready for that stacks deck. Chat, you guys being so patient. Thank you so much as we get through these draft boosters. I know you guys are so excited. <gasps> Here it is, chat. The Cat Dragon token. Look at this! It's toothless. No, no, like, it's a whole cat head. Hang on, hang on. Focus, work with me here. There we go. Look at him! Oh my god! Isn't that adorable? Meow. Little 3 3 kittens with wings. I love them a bit. So pull back to here for Dylan Ree. Yeah. Perfect. Cute as little, little baby. That cat token is so cute. It's wonderful, isn't it? Not as wonderful as Cryptic Spires, though, of course, chat. We always love Cryptic Spires. I hope we get this in every back. Whoa, Foil Demir Aqueduct. Uh, there is a Cryptic Spires in every pack. There is a Cryptic Spires in every pack, exactly, yep. Yeah. That is the joke I'm making. Oh, okay, sorry. Oh. Uh, <laughs> just leave it. Yeah, I'm all... Dylan. Dylan. I'm just checking, I'm Dylan. just doing the thing. If the, if the non-borderless foil is worth $6 in the Selesnia one, I think the borderless foil is going to be worth a dollar. What's it worth? Twenty-six fifty. Yeah, oh. there it is, look at that. The foil right. normal Demir Aqueduct is $3. <laughs> yeah, right? Psychic Symbiont is nothing, and then we got a Dax duplicate in the rare slot. Do you like the Psychic Symbiont? It's a cool card. Is the Psychic Symbiont not the rare? It's an uncommon. Oh, okay. As in, it's two foils, so it was like the foil borderless, the foil uncommon, and now two rares. Oh, okay. Oh. So it's uh, Dax Duplicate and Myel's Aria. Myel's Aria is an interesting card. I like the Progenitus in the background. I think that's meant to be Progenitus. Very cool. It's Very. if you control creature power 20 or greater, you win the yeah. game. Yeah, which is why I think it's... Yeah. yeah. Um, then Spider Spawning. That's nothing. All for these to here. Nothing... Biogenic upgrade. Hey, Arachnid Spinner, and it's been downshifted. There you go. I was going to say, this card is not a rare, by the way. It was a magic core, I think, 2010 or 2012 or whatever. Like the 2010 structure deck. It came as part of this. No, structure deck 2012, released in 2010. And it's uh, all the 2010 core set. This card's really interesting. I really, again, cards I wish were commander uh, for 10. Uh, it's five and a green for a 5-7 reach spider. that says tap an untapped spider you control. Search your graveyard and or library for a card named Arachnus Web and put it onto the battlefield attached to target creature. How cool is that ability? Now you can do this at... <gasps> is Arachnus Web a common? Because that's an uncommon commander now. <gasps> my pauper commander deck. Oh my god. Even without the Imperial Seal, is the value of this box fairly decent? Fairly decent, mate. Yeah. Uh, I'll be able to well. let you know once we're done opening. Yeah. We'll see what we can do. Brindle Snow Shote. Seeker Squire. Anointer of Valor. Interesting. Ave Initiate, Vampire Sovereign, Dark Dweller Oracle. That's also a downshift, yep, right? Yep, downshift. Yep. Ambuscade and Fiery Fall. Dark Dweller Oracle allows you to cast things from your graveyard, right? Instant no, uh, you sacrifice creatures to exile the top card of your library and cast oh, them. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Um, is it Chemster as well? I think you maybe you're thinking of. Ooh. Are we going Followed... to have... Oh, no. Is there going to yeah. be... The five mana is one. Is there going to be like an Is It Goblin Spellsinger deck in Pauper? I hope so. I hope so. That sounds pretty good. I mean, is it Spellslinger and Pauper is already going to be a thing, obviously. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Vampire Sovereign base downshifted. Yeah, absolutely, chat. Absolutely. So, Sapperling. Cryptic Spires, let's go! Yes! Keep the train going, chat. We've got Kazmina's Transmutation in the foil. It's nothing. Eel Umbra in the foil. Uh, do I look this one up? Uh, I think it's going to be very good. No. No? All right. Aurelia the War Leader. This is, a again, a big classic Boros commander. Aurelia the War Leader, I think, pretty well alone, gave Boros a bad name. People took so many combats with Aurelia that everyone thought Boros was just combats. Yeah. Cataract Leviathan, this card's insane. Too, I will, I absolutely will. Cataract. Yeah, get Cataract, mate. Oh, nice permanent. Yeah, Cataract Leviathan is actually insanely unbalanced. Very powerful. Very, very powerful. Breakthrough. Oh, that's a cool card. Glad Wraith, you've got a reprint. Tower Gargoyle. Blood Artist! New art. New art on Blood Artist. Very cool. Yeah, that's $4. I don't think we passed a Blood Artist, so. Disfigure, Winged Coedal, Hyena Umbra, Spell Pierce, Unearth, Grapple, Rift Bolt, Call to the Beast. Very cool. Rift Bolt's pretty big, actually. Can you look at Rift Bolt? Because I remember Rift Bolt being like the, the is, Red Deck Wins card. Yeah, it's a pauper card. Yeah. Uh, it's a dollar fifty. Might as well. Yeah, out of common. Art, Paul Blood Art Shot. Let's go! Paul Blood Art Shot. All right, so, Paul Blart Mart Shart. All right, so then, Paul Blart Bloodborne Cart. 
That's the actual third movie coming out. So, Pescalanum, Redeemed Hydrate. Sorry, chat. <sighs> Thanks, Pescalanum. We really appreciate that. Oh, I'm going to make sure my hands are totally dry before touching cards again. And an anointed out on the foil. Yes. Oh, yes. Militia Bugler. City of Brass. City of Brass. Yeah, it's nineteen dollars. Oh, yeah, it's a good card. It's a great card. We got a pull from tomorrow. That one is not Dragon Arch. Five mana for two and tap me and put a multicolor creature card from your hand on the battlefield. Very cool. Should I have a look at that? Yeah. Three dollars. Oh, interesting yeah. chat. Look at that. Oh, that definitely looks like a commander card. It's a classic. It's like a really it hasn't seen reprint in many, many years. I think it's been over a decade since it got reprinted. So it could be easily added. That's the reason it's got value. It's a yeah. cool card. It, it's one of these things where it costs five and taps two and then tap, as opposed to costing four and then paying four and tap, which is normally yeah. the, the that's normally the go. So that's pretty good actually. And because it's colorless, you can ram into it pretty hard. Body double. Hmm, interesting. Okay, I think that was already an uncommon. I think it was downshifted not long ago though. Body doubles are two dollars. Honestly, chat, we're going to have to go through all of these commons and uncommons, I think, and have a look at some of these values as well. Because some want, of these cards... Want should... me to... Yeah, put that in the system. If it's anything over a dollar, man, we should probably put it in the system, right? Because, you know, uh, yeah. help stocking filler, and, you know, it's good. I think it's... Every dollar that we get out of every single card in this pack is, is benefiting the whole pack, right? It's benefiting the whole box. So I think that's what we want to look at as well. Especially for a pack like this. Normally, I'm okay with it, but in a booster box like this. It's a Drake. Oh! The tower. Damn. It's a Tower and Drake. It's a Tower and Drake. Angel on the back. I can be your Angel. I could be your Josh or I could be your Drake. All right. Uh, uh, that Angel, did it say Flying in Vigilance? It says Flagilance, yeah. So does that mean Divine just... Visitations in this set? Ooh, maybe. Question mark? Question mark. Um, this is uh, a... It is. Sarah Angel. Well, let's go. Double visit. Hopefully we get one. Hopefully we see one. Cryptic Spires. Arachnus Web in the foil in the common. Oh, that's exciting. Ground Assault. Dauntless Escort, that's a great card. I'm oh, sorry, chat, there you go. Dauntless Escort, what a card. To yeah, sacrifice my D&D character. Yeah, this guy um, I play in my Sappy Eric's Daughter deck, so I can bring it back every time. It's really cool. Legion's Initiative. This card sucks. <laughs> I've never found use for this card. Red It's a two-matter enchantment. Red creatures get plus one, plus zero. White get plus zero, plus one, so it's a one-one anthem for red-white creatures. You can exile to exile all creatures you control at the beginning of the next combat, return them to the battlefield under its control, and they gain haste. It's cute. I very rarely see myself... Utilizing this card. I feel like if you play it down and you manage to get rid of a like bounce off a board wipe It can show up, but it seems like you're asking for a lot for this card. I, I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong though chat but I would like chat to prove me wrong I've got a fire mine vessel. It's cute I've got each mage touch and then I actually pull that too fast because it's a gruel turf. Let's go gruel turf in the borderless non-foil Ah, 1750. Woo! Let's go. And then it's spell pierce What's the spell pierce coming out at? Oops, sorry, chat. Uh, $14.50. Yeah, damn, these cards, man, these cards. Wow, chat. All right, so then we're going to grab this one here. We're, we're getting close to the bottom of the box now, chat. The full arts are huge, yeah. They are really huge. Cryptic Spires. Arachnus Spinner. Do hold it down a bit, dude? Oh, sorry, my apologies. Thank, thank, you, thank you, mate. Right there. Arachnus Spinner. Dreg Mangler. As foretold, we get sleep for this one. And then we have a Una's Prowler, which is a fairy rogue. Two mana, three one. Discard a card, it gets plus two, minus two, minus zero, but anyone could do that. Kind of a weird card, actually. Pretty cool. It's got that classic Wayne Reynolds art. You can instantly tell the Wayne Reynolds art coming through. Golden Banneret. Bounty of Lucia, Washout, that's a base card. Glowspore Shaman, Last Breath, Militia Bugler, Mana Leak, Severed Strands, Will Weaver Changeling, Monastery Swift Spear, and Nullback Rhino. We gotta look at that Monastery um, Swift Spear. Let's have a look at that Monastery. Yeah. If I can type it right. Dylan can't spell. You learn it here first. Even though it's right in front of him. Ow. Americans. Damn Americans with their monastery. Uh, it's a dollar fifty common. Yeah, why not? Chuck it in. Alright. Getting closer. 
We're getting closer, chat. I hope you guys are on the edge of your seat for this, because I'm very excited to show you what's coming up after this draft booster box. We're getting there. I mean, you've seen the outside. Where do you see the inside? Egg! It's an- it's egg! That's because Alamani's in this set. Shh, spoilers! Uh... Oh, sorry. I ruined it. Egg. Sorry, everyone. Ego, ego. Cryptic Spires. Thought Scour in the foil? Ooh. Oh my god, what the fuck? Foil I want Borderless Ulta Heart. Only $15. Yeah, I mean, it's a common still. A common is a common. Ingenious Scab. Ashen Mole Leech in the foil. Oh, sorry, in the rare. My apologies. The Ashen regular non foil. Regular cool. non foil. And then we've got a Shatter Gang Bros. They might need a sleeve, actually. It's been a long time since they did a reprint. Uh, no. <laughs> no. Oh, but their foil is ex insane. Insane. Yeah, that's what it is. Their foil is a hundred plus dollars. Insane. So, Shadow Gang Brothers, Blazing Hellhound, Miss Meta Witch, Orzob Basilica, Is It Charm in the Common, Wingsteed Rider, Eat the Snipe, Shadowborn Apostle. Cool. Hyena Umbra, Might of Crosa, and finally, Kasali Pride Mage. There he is. In that extent, in that borderless. Looking super nice, chat. That Kasali Prime Mage. Look at this. What a lion. What a lion. Lion around at the speed of brown. Beautiful. All right. Elemental. Cryptic Spires. Unburial rites in the foil. Who looks one up? Just in case. Just in case. I like this card a lot. It's a 5 mana return a creature with a 4 mana flashback. I wanted my creature so nice, I got it back twice. 550? Yep. Chuck it in. Thought so. 7 strands and a backdraft hellkite. Whenever it attacks, all your cards gain flashback in your graveyard. All your sin sorcery cards gain flashback equal to their map. Just in the regular? Yep, just in the regular. It's $1.50 in the regular, $58 in the foil. Yeah, because it's exclusive to a commander deck. Yeah. Yeah. So it never had a foil. And then Mathis. we have Mathas, Fiend Seeker, the classic bounty counter commander, the very first. The first and still the coolest. Scab Plant Giant, Prophetic Bolt, Is It Boilerworks, Bloodboat Connoisseur, God's Willing, Mana Leak, Balustrade Spy, Hyena Umbra, Perforos Mystery, Arachnus Web, and the Cartel Aristocrat. I can see the bottom of the box, chat! You know what I'm going to do here? I'm going to pull these ones out. Uh -huh. Let's go! We're excited, chat. We're excited. It's a ball. Oh, it's Sorry. a ball. You're good. Four cryptic spires. Mana leak in the foil. Do you want to look this one up? I don't think so, but. No. No. Deep analysis in the foil. Bloom tender. Let's go. Bloom tender, chat. Oh my god, chat. Bloom tender. Getting asleep on that, baby. Yeah. 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 The next rare we've got is actually Pithing Needle. It's a really nice Pithing Needle. Non-foil? Yep. Man, that's really gone down in price. Really has. And then Inquisition of Kozilek in the Extended. Has that art been done before? No, that's brand new. I think all the models are, sure? are brand new. Yeah. I could have sworn I've seen that art before. Nah, but it's cool though. It's very samey. Like, it's, it's, it's Kozilek. A lot of his art's the same. Oh, Shadowborn, Shadowborn Apostle! I saw yeah, him! I saw Shadowborn that. Apostle! We caught them. You're not hiding from us, Mr. and Mrs. Apostle. It looks like the Thoughtseize Borderless? Yeah. It does, actually. Cryptic Spires. Call to the Feast. Ooh, Foil Experiment 1. Look that one up. I like Experiment 1 a lot. In the foil, it's 250, so it's borderline. Yeah, just chuck it in. Why not? We're there. Whoa! Borderless City of Brass. Let's go. Let's go, chat. Let's go! City of uh, Brass. Borderless foil. Also, welcome to the chat, Bear Bros. We love you here. Uh, no, non foil. Non foil. Oh, okay. Non foil. I know, I know. Jesus Louise. Still $36. It's really good. We have Figure of Destiny. What this is we... a funny little guy. What are you? Level up before level up? Yeah, classic level up. I mean, even Ascendant Spirit from Kaldheim had this kind of mechanic, so... Yeah. Cool. There's the Absent guy from Cards. Excuse me. Whew. Summer Bloom, play a three additional Ancestor. Pretty cute. 
Glory Scale via, via Shino. Eternal Witness! Let's go! In the Uncommon. Look at that one straight into a sleeve. Yeah. Yeah. Beautiful. Very really nice. Best. Really nice chat. So get your hands on her today. And then we've got. Crap. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Final pack of the draft booster chat. Six trillion dollars. All right. You excited for this? I'm excited for this. Whoa. And it goes all the way down. That's how you know it's going to be a good pack. Let's go. Are you ready, chat? Are you ready? So this time, I'm going to take these and I'm going to put all the best stuff aside so I can go to the very back. All right. So. Bear token. Pretty cute. It's a dock side, Smeckle says. Oh, I should have put Crypto Spider the very back. It would have been a hilarious meme. Uh, Mistfire Adept. Hyena Umbra. Bant Charm. Lightning Helix. Talked about it before. Ground Assault. Doom's Traveler, Ether Snipe, what a crazy cool card, a great common too. Um, Eye Blight's Ending, Crew and Striker, Burning Tree Emissary. Hang on, Burning Chuck Tree. Alright, done. Ambuscade is gone, Lava Coil, and Simic Growth Chamber! In that Borderless. Someone tell Piper. Someone tell Piper, Siren Song in the chat! Siren Song in the chat! Point, 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 point! Big Siren's going off right now. Oh! A song of Sirens. Um, Dromoka's Command. It is really nice art too, chat. It is really nice art. I like that it's very simicky. The last rare of this booster was a Sadisi Brood Tyrant. Very cool card. Very cool commander. And that's it. Alright. So, I'll show you all of our, I'll show you all of our pulls from today's uh, draft booster box. Yeah, actually, if you want to talk for a bit, I'll pull up how much we got from that box. Yeah, all right. Well, uh, Imperial Seal being obviously the huge one. We already sold the Smothering Tithe inside, but I'll put it right here for you guys so you guys can see that. Um, and I'll turn the camera just a little bit down so you guys get a good idea of what we're working with. We ended up with cards like City of Brass Eternal Witness, both in the extended. I've got Car Blue Temp Bloom Tender here. We've got the Thought Scow, which did come in the foil as well. As for told, I need to sleeve these two. Correct? Yep. Um, I've got here another City of Brass. Yep, the, the focus is not there. There you go. While I do some tricks. So chat, I'm just getting these cards out to show you guys exactly how well we have been doing so far. And then I just need to sleeve up a few extra cards to show you. Very exciting. This is all so exciting. So many cool cards coming out of this set. Chat, what's the your favorite card you've seen so far of our stuff? Before we do have some really bad glare there on Verena, which we'll try and fix up. That's a little better for you guys, isn't it? Yeah, that's a bit better for you guys. So, this is what I have out so far, but I'll put some more cards down. We got Inquisition of Coslake as well as we mentioned. These are just all these are just all of our extenders that I'm going to go through. By the way, Spell Pierce. So, oh, here we go. Oh, hang on, I right, hang on, I pick something up. Kasali Pride Mage, and how much Seeker is the, way. the Imperial Seal? Very pretty things. Oh, Pega Paints, welcome to the chat. I am just going through our amazing... Right. Oh, I've got the numbers. All right. So, without the Imperial Seal, let's ignore the Imperial Seal because it's such a big outlier. Yep. We, the total value of what we put into the system then was $751.50. Wow. With the Imperial Seal, it was $1,258. With a box cost being uh, our retail price of $549. Uh, that means... Holy fuck, do we crack double? Nah, the borderless cards are all hella pretty. Dang, what's Imperial Seal? Imperial Seal, uh, for you at home, 
is a one mana sorcery that says search your library for a card, then shuffle it and put that card on top. You lose two life. It is a sorcery speed version of Vampiric Tutor, but it's essentially the same card. And it was an incredibly hard to find card. It hasn't been reprinted since Portal 3 Kingdoms from memory. So it's been a very, very long time coming. It's an incredible good, good, incredibly good card. It's good to see it back into the player base, but it's also one of these cards that now uh, the CDH sphere is very happy to see too, because a lot of people weren't able to get access to this card for CDH, and now it's great to have the physical copies. All right. I've got, I've got the math for you guys, for you nerds out there. But before you do any more math, I just want to quickly show off everything we've seen on front of the screen, but that I still have Gruel Turf, Growth Chamber, Rampant Growth, Rot Farm, Boiler Works, Coiling Oracle, and Young Pyromancer. So many amazing cards, chat. Uh, it's Well, the pre-order discount is until tonight. Yeah. Uh, so at the moment, we're doing pre-order discounts for $499.99. Uh, so if you were... Sorry, I'm going to just quickly do that. Uh, if you were to use the discount, uh, get the discounted... Um... Put that smothering tie to the side. God, my mind just fried. I'm sorry. It did. You're a good mate. Take your time. It's not like chat's waiting on you or anything. Don't worry. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So at retail, if we include the Imperial Seal, uh, we made 229% on the cost of the box. Uh... And if we don't include the Imperial Seal, we still made 137. So we made our money back. We're plus 37%. Yeah, amazing. Um, if we did the pre-order pricing, which is $499.99, only until midnight tonight on the vaultgames.com.au that store. That is it. Midnight uh, tonight. We would have made 150% without the Imperial Seal or 252% without uh, with the Imperial Seal. Mm. So we would have been, yeah, double and a half up. If uh, and a half by pulling the Imperial Seal, if we pre ordered our box before midnight, yes, so absolutely. that's just some fun numbers there on the EV. There, yep, yep, or $400 from Gameology, sure, sure, you can support other stores. That, yeah, technically, that's a yeah, okay, Smackle, yeah, sure, like, yeah, you're now chat anyway. So, um, then we have the collector booster boxes next, basically, right? Yeah, collector yeah, exactly, booster boxes exactly. next. So, let's. So excited for this chat. Who is keen in the chat for collector boosters? Ah, so exciting. I'm, I'm so elated. It's so exciting. Um, and also, I talked about the cards from the box. We see we, we talk about these cards here. But this is just the cards that I had to sleeve, right? I want to also mention very quickly that we didn't have to, and I got some other cards I did even sleeve back here. But we had this many oh, cards. So you got the Duck Still played there. I do have the Duck Still played there. That's what I just mentioned. But, uh... We have still this many cards that I chose not to sleeve immediately because it's it bloats our inventory. So look at that. That's one box of cards. It's amazing. And we're talking like thousand dollar plus value of cards. So anyway, so the value is definitely there. 100 percent there. And we'll look at that full art monkey man. Haha. <laughs> All right. So let's crack this baby up. Beautiful. Oh, what is this? <laughs> Pull it out. <laughs> it's got a cover, so they're, they're, so they're not plastic sealed anymore. Oh, I see what you're saying. I was like, did they put... Is it just double box? Is that the meme here? Because nope. it's double masters? It comes in two boxes? No, it's the, it's it's the, the new recyclable cover. Recyclable cover. That's amazing. Look at that. Really cool. Um, but it does double the environmental footprint. Well, you know, it's the other way around if they don't use the plastic, right? If it's not, like, we didn't have to unseal these from plastic. This is how they came. So it's probably half the environmental footprint, honestly, compared to the plastic. Blessings for the 3%. Yes, exactly. All right, so this is gone. Now, let's get this baby open. Chat. Oh! Oh, my goodness. Plastic is edible if you're brave enough. Yeah, definitely, Deckham, definitely. Uh, we do not... Uh, we do not suggest people eat plastic. Uh, it is not a bulk game stars you should eat plastic, but I should eat my words for selling, telling you to eat plastic. All right, this is the collector booster box. <laughs> this is what the focus is on. Thank this you. is the whole box, chat. The, the whole box is four boosters. These are the best damn boosters ever. Let's find out how good these boosters are. How much does this box retail at? Uh, at the moment, it's selling for four four. 1450 yep. at pre-order pricing, but it will sell for 500 500 a box. So you, these better be the most... Is 500 
No, 450. 450 a box. 450 a box. So these are... And the individual boosters will be about 130 each. Yeah. Damn. Exactly, Pega Paints. Four booster packs. Isn't that crazy? This is over $100 a pack. How crazy is this? Do you want to open uh, both the boxes and then we can choose our final boosters? Yeah, why not? For the stream for the stream booster game. For the stream. This is going to be the biggest stream booster game of all time. It's going to be the GOAT stream booster game, by the way, chat. Now watch, one of us will still get $16. <laughs> It'll be me, chat. It'll be fucking me again. My ball, my balls have been so bad. I have to turn it around, chat. I have to turn it around. All right, we're still... Bruh, Hasbro really pushing pricing to the brink. Yeah, isn't it crazy? What's see, where's my other eight other boosters? Yeah, exactly, Lumberjack Maximus. It's a... Look, we can't sit here and deny that this is not a crazy price pack for cardboard that doesn't do anything outside of the space that Magic designs. We can't pretend that's not the case. But it is a still a very... It is Warhammer prices. But again, Warhammer prices, you're talking about plastic. And now we're talking about paper. So do you see? Hobbies are going to be expensive. Bro, and when it, comes to the most, when it comes to the most premium of the product, you're it's making the choice to pay the price. And yeah. you know what, chat? This is why we do these streams. Because if you're the kind of player who goes... Makes good kindling, exactly. Um, if you're the kind of player who goes, I don't want to buy a $130 booster pack. Buy your as for told from singles of all games. Don't buy the packs. Like yeah. that's what we do this for guys. We're happy to help out as best as we can and that's why we are doing this stream as we are doing it. But again, if you want to open these packs yourself, jump onto our website, ballgames.com. You have until to tonight. You have until midnight tonight if you are live watching. If you are on YouTube, you have long missed out. Or maybe only a short amount of time missed out because you might be watching as we've released it, which by the way, thank you so much. All right, let's... We're gonna shuffle up the boosters. That's the best I can do. And you, Dylan, are going to bring your gorgeous hand over here. And you're going to point down onto one of these boosters so Chat can see which one you pointed at. That one there. All right, Chat, he's got his booster. And I'm going to get my booster. It's the one that tried to come out with him, actually, because he was very excited. So I'm going to put mine on the right. All right. Are you excited? Here, let's have a look. So we got... Uh, they are too pretty for cheap cards, and I love them. Exactly. Uh, all the sat damn. All the satisfaction of shiny card opening, only the cost of singles. Exactly. Second-hand experience. Exactly. I think when you're taking a, talking about price of card games and stuff, you sort of have to factor in your paying artists, game designers, wages, even the CEO and stakeholder to take a majority cut. Exactly. And I think not, that people Not to like mention that they also don't print in China. Exactly. They print in Japan and Europe, which is... And the US, which are not cheap markets to print cards in either exactly exactly so uh, there's a lot of layers where i think we need to justify our product purchasing based on uh like real uh, real research as well so make sure you're doing dealing with the three percent whoa so what, what, what am i what am i doing you got the three percent right that's you with the three percent right there oh that's what you said you got the three percent so without further ado we're gonna take our first pack we're gonna stop talking about the ethics of double masters and we're gonna start talking about the ethics of loving things so let's grab this booster Let's see how we go of the... How does this... Oh! Oh, that's so much better. Oh, yes. Thank God. The last coll collector boosters were so tough. They were very childproof. Like, do not steal this in a Kmart. I swear to God. All right. So, let's kick this off, chat. Are you as excited as I am, okay? Right, chat, I, I want to see some Pog PJs in the chat. I think I need to up the exposure. Yeah, definitely up the exposure here. Definitely, my friends. Definitely get involved. Oh, that's a little bit laggy now. Look, I've seen them normally. I just want to... Do you want me to like, is this like because I turn this? Is that what it is? Yeah, it could be that. Is that better now? Yeah. All right. America Foils, hell yeah. It's Smothering Tithe. I want the $100 pack. Let's go. Very exciting. All right, chat. Skeleton Archer is our first card. It's followed up with Brindle Shirt. That's followed up with Makeshift Mauler. Which is followed up by Ingenious Scab. All these cards are in foil because collector boosters. We have a Thrive. Followed by a Labyrinth Champion in the Uncommon. We're getting closer now. Boris Garrison in the foil. Already a weirdly exciting hit. Already, already a str I'm strangely excited oh, by I this. I mean, like, it's $1.50. Wait, really? The foil? Yeah. Wow, what happened to the... Oh, man. Maybe it's not the Boris Garrison that matters, you know? Maybe people like... It's not the Boris Garrison. It's how you use it. Yeah. <laughs> it's not what the Garrison is. It's how you use it. Sorry, chat. Just going to grab these sleeves. Rip open a new pack just while we're here, because I have some extra sleeves, but I want to make sure I'm all guaranteed. So uh, I guess so I'll just... Do you want the Boris Garrison in? Put it in. People yeah. will want it. That's followed up by a Smith Growth Chamber. In Boris Bordelous. moment, Boris mm -hmm. moment. Borderless non-foil? Borderless non-foil. So apparently there's six Borderless cards in every pack. 
Six. Yep. Wowza. All right, well, that one's in. Yep. It's Ores of Basilica is next. That's amazing, I look forward guys. to four of them in every pack being the... Yeah, of course. But that's amazing. Like, I'm not going to lie, guys. You really want to get your hands on these. Plus, it makes their, their value is based on how many you'll see, so... God, if I can type. Uh, cool. Rampant growth in the foil. This one you will put in the system. <laughs> cool. <gasps> Ooh, very nice. This Azorius Chancery chat. Oh my gosh. Oh wow, borderless uncommons. Yeah, exactly. I mean, the uncommon kind of level of the card is based on like how old it is and what it was at the time. So I don't know if the uncommon is like necessarily um. Oh, sorry, good or bad. Well, we got guided passage as the next rare. So how many? How many of that so far? In all? So borderless. far, we've seen four borderless. Four borderless, cool. So well, there's a fifth one hiding there. I can see, yeah. but yeah, there's a sixth one as well. Yeah, we're good. We're good. Okay, we're good. Guided Do not worry. passage. Guided passage. Guided passage. It's pretty cool. In the foil. Now there should be an etched foil in here too. That's forty-three dollars. Yeah, I'll put it in a sleeve. Hey, I love that chaos warp. A lot of people chaos hate it, warp. but they're wrong. Phil Foglio. It's an amazing art. It's very like classic card games. Uh, foil or non-foil? Non-foil. Cool. <laughs> Sorry, I had my mouth below. It wasn't um. Just like had to decide. Oh, it's an etched foil smothering tithe already. Chat. Are we kidding? Oh my goodness gracious, chat. Oh my. Is that? 170. Am I crazy or is that really blurry? Uh, no, it's a little blurry. Oh, let me see if I can fix the focus up. D yeah, the chat already knows what's happening now because, yeah, I already got, yeah, smothering yeah, teeth. Yeah. You ready? It's two smothering tights! It's two of them! Wow, that chat! That one's also 174. It's amazing. Oh, chat, look at this. Look at this. Double tithe. Do you pay four? Do you pay the four? Do you, you pay, pay the, the four? four? Amazing. All right, let me get these sleeves on these cards. That was great. We should have brought in top loaders. We probably should have brought in top loaders, but that's okay. We'll get some top loaders on these cards. Do not worry. Keep them nice and safe. So gorgeous, chat. So gorgeous. I'd breathe. It'd breathe. Yeah, I'd breathe gold if I would. Yeah, if I could breathe gold, I would. You know, I would. I'd destroy the market for gold. All right. That was the first of eight. We now have the second. Can you just quickly confirm for me that there were six borderless cards? Absolutely. Yes. And there was one etched foil. Cool. Right. To confirm, it was one, two, three, four. Five, six. Cool. And yep. then the one etched. One well. etched. Awesome. Especially if it packs this like kind of quantity like quality. You really want to yeah. make sure you're getting the right cards. Yeah. I mean we had collation issues with the goddamn promos. We like... did. We did. So it's back to the start. Fiery fall. Oh hang on, hang on. Just got elder. Oh, sorry. Sandwich bags okay. can suffice. Yeah, I like that too. Hey yo! <laughs> Everyone's freaking out because they see the back of the card, but back, back, back of the pack. Because it always like gets flayed out. Monastery Swiss beer in the foil. Five pity. Yeah, rather black rose, not queen like So I'll put that there, but then system. Purple rose is a mystery. That like mystery. pack almost paid back the box. Uh 270, 340. Plus another 60, Yeah, it's 400. Yeah. It got close. It got, it got very close. close. It fucking got close, chat. Can you imagine that? Holy shit. Almost got close. So Terminate in the foil. Speaking of collation issues, can you check out Terminate in the foil? I don't think it's worth anything, but you have a double check if you can. Uh, Terminate in the foil is 450. Yeah, yeah right. from the system. Yeah, exactly. And then upside down in my booster is a Coiling Oracle in the extended. Yes, Meckle. Upside down, question mark. Exactly. Did this you is say the... that it was Coiling? Coiling Oracle. And a Golgari Rod Farm, which goes in the right way up. Look at that. Misprint, misprint. No, nah, it's not It's not like literally printed upside down, unfortunately. Thanks, Richard. No, it's not I do literally. I like that Rod Farm. Yeah, it's really nice. You dig. <laughs> Shut up, Kian. Uh, Seeker of the Way in foil. And I gotta fix this focus. Sorry, this you're focus good. It's all over the place. It is all over the place, isn't it? What's happening today? Cool. Seeker of the Way in alt art foil. Exactly. Borderless, borderless foil. foil. Blood artist. Oh. Borderless foil. Let me get a sleeve for this baby. I love that art. Super, super nice chat. Blood artist in that borderless foil. Absolutely gorgeous. Look at that. 
Gorgeous. Show nice. At La Palani, nest tender in the foil. Much like she knows, the book looks like a butt. It does kind of look like a big butt, doesn't it? That, can you sleeve that? That's seventy two fifty. He like big, but he cannot lie. Those other brothers can't deny. He drawing is, on a butt. He drawing on a boot. He drawing on a butt. Did you foil Atlo Polani? Not yet. Please don't. Um, I will, I will, don't worry. <laughs> I was looking at this ballads. I was looking, I'm trying to see if there's any part that is actually a book, but it is officially a book. I was just making sure it wasn't like a skin or something. Um, don't forget to get those uh, pre-order cards. Oh. The pre-orders in. If you want any of these, you get 5% off only until the end of tonight using VG Live on your checkout. Rectum Artiste. It's an etched foil. The Rumming Stone. Oh All spells you cast have Ripple 4. This is in the same fucking box as fucking Shadowborn Apostle. Um, I really, really want one of those. You can't have a 300. I assume it's around a 200. $285. $285, dude. Oh my god, chat. But I really, really want one for Grand Arbiter. <laughs> well, you're going to have to work, 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 my work, work. Deck. You got to work for it, dude. You got to work, 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 work. Free tendies. Free tendies. Oh my god, free tendies. And then I have lastly, yes, chat has spoken about it a few times. It's the foil. It's the Richard Kane Ferguson Marchesa the Black Rose. Can you stop like zooming in all the time? No. Can you just like get better at focusing, mate? Like they want to see the card, you know what I'm saying? Man. If Shit, I bought it, that's $213. It's amazing. Now, can I just say something by the way? First of all, Kian, uh yeah, luck is luck is subjective. But look at this thing, right? This is Marchesa right here. Where's the black rose? I don't care about the black rose. Oh. What is what is happening? What is all of this? Look at this card. How are you meant to fucking look at this thing? Sorry, Richard, but like I love this guy's work. I think his art is amazing, but fuck me, this is so Ah Bro, she's... do you play commander for the art? <laughs> she's on a tower, I think. It's like, yeah, I can see she's standing on some kind of like tower style of thing, but is it like it's like fucking rhubarb pie, bro. It's like a rhubarb pie in the background. That's like flat and that's like... Okay, can you put that in a sleeve and stop touching it, please? Because it's, oh, it's $230. Do not, worry. Do not worry, do not worry. What an art. I love it, Pekka Bain says. Do not worry, Dylan. It is A-OK. -okay. It is A-OK. -okay. Do not worry. I always I worry. have absolutely completely sanitized everything about myself and I'm being very careful. Do not secret worry. Secret layer tier art confusion. Exactly. It's secret layer tier. That's what I was saying. It's like, it's cool art. Heavily played now. Sorry, sorry. Look, it's a cool card art. Whether or not that makes it a good commander artwork is a different question. I don't know if it's a good artwork for a legendary creature. I feel like it, it's better if it was on like, you know, if it was like Marquesa's lair or something, I'd get it or something. Or like Marquesa's thought process or something. <laughs> like Marquesa has a moment. Marquesa has a mask off moment. That, like that's, a, that's fine for me. I, w I will pay to see Marquesa have a mask off moment. All right. We got the foils. Can They're all happening. Go up a bit. Oh, sorry. Thank you. Thank you. My bad, chat. I gotta look at a lot of different angles to do this. Balls up the skillet and the foil. Give this one a search just in case. Uh, I would put it on my wall. Yeah, me too. It's three dollars. She had a mask off moment about goblins. Yeah, exactly. Token. Woo. Breakthrough in the foil. Oh, okay. It's an upside down burning burning tree emissary. Cool, six dollars. We've got an Azorius Chancery in the non-foil. Cool. Thought Scour, another one in the foil. We sleeve this baby. Oh no! Siren Song, are you in the chat? I hope you are. I hope you are, because we just pulled a foil! Simic Growth Chamber! The bottom of these cards look scuffed. So there are some scuffed parts of the cards, as you can see here, Smeckle. There is some kind of scuffing happening from these packs coming out. I mean, the quality control is interesting at best, but we'll see what we could do about that once we've resolved the stream, because that's its own conversation. All right. Very, very cool card, though. Simic Growth Chamber got is it. absolutely gorgeous. Thanks, America. We've got it. Perfect. I'll put that in the sleeve. And then we've got Thraxamunda in the foil. That's a sleeve. Yep. Absolutable. We've got a Forbidden Ooh. Orchard. Whoa! Oh my god, I haven't seen this card in forever. I mean, I play with a lot of decks, but I mean, I have seen it printed in forever, I mean to say. That one's $57. Dollars. 
Whoa! Chat, these cards. Oh my god. All right. And then, oh, 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 oh. no spoilers. Oh, no spoilers. Privileged position! position. Charlie, Charlie from our events, I uh, was doing a privileged privilege position and really wanted one for their deck. So I'm glad that it, we got it in because, oh my god. Oh my god, get the sleep. Oh my god, I get to sleep on every fucking card. And finally, it's Phyrexian Altar in the foil! Oh my god, chat! Oh my god. Oh my god, chat. Alright, so that pack paid for the box. That pack, well. oh, like, paid for the. Chat! Chat, this is an incredible product. What the hell? Amazing, chat. Really nice. I'm getting all these cards straight into sleeves, keeping them nice and safe. Alright. Oh, this card really represents me. Privileged position. Okay, kid. Okay, kid. Um, oh, no. This one bunged as I tried to open it. Let's go this direction. All right, problem solved. We've got the go to soldier token. All right, center splicer. Seeker of the way. Living lightning. I love this card. Embuscade. Fiery fall. Scale Blessing. Oop, chat, sorry. Domestication. Now see, this is me, chat. And a Seeker of the Way in the Borderless Non-Foil. This is nuts, Pega Paint says. Isn't it crazy? This is our craziest box opening we've ever done. It's our craziest by far. When we're done here, I'm, I'm going to do the, the analysis again. Yeah, we are absolutely going to do the analysis again. Absolutely. All right, so we've got this guy in. Yes. Next is, is it Boilerworks? Let's go! Trent is a sub-goblin, confirmed. That's true. Thanks, chat. Uh, foil or non-foil? Non-foil. Cool. Spell Pierce in the foil. Waterless foil, Spell Pierce. Borderless foil, Spell Pierce? Yep. Put a sleeve on that shit. Definitely. I've got a Borderless foil, Celestia Sanctuary next. That's our first alt art Slayer's Sanctuary. Yep, it absolutely is. The next is... Oh! The... Is that... Is that just regular foil? Is that extra foil? Regular foil. Yeah, you want to rewind that, Trent. Maybe I do? I'm not... Sorry, Chad. I'm, I'm a little bit, like, disconnected from what that is. Are you saying that I shouldn't call myself a sub-goblin? I assume that's, like, some kind of terribly deep sexualized thing. So maybe I shouldn't call myself that. But if it is... Chat, you know what? I still will, because I stand by my philosophy, all right? I'm not a man who lies. So we got this one in the system? Yeah. I'm an Archim foil. Very nice, very nice. Consecrated Sphinx! Consecrated Sphinx! Let's go! What a pull, chat! Look at this guy in the non-foil. Based Trent. Thanks, Kian. I think they meant domestication. Oh, no, I do want domestic. No, I like domestication. All right, very cool card. Oh, they mean they are... Oh, I see. They think I want to rewind that because I want to cast the spell Rewind to counter it and untap up to four lands so I don't lose my creature. I see. Thanks, Pega Paints. I'll keep that in mind next time. I'll keep that one in mind next time. All right. So, Consecrated Sphinx. Splinter Fright in the... Okay. What the fuck? Who put Splinter Fright in the Etch Foil slot? Who did that? Who put Splinter Fright in there? That is the lowest for etched foil at $21. $21? It's worse than fucking an uncommon land. Anyway. Oof. Anyway. Anyway. Chaos Warp in the foil! Let's go! Let's go! Let's go to town. I'm still going to sleep that Splinter Fright because it might only, only be $21, but I guess it's still $21, so. But Pega Paint says no horny, Trent. No horny in the chat. Sorry, guys. You know the rules. Sorry, guys. Thank you. Sorry. Probably the best art of Chaos Warps is Stray Violet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I agree. Oh, absolutely. I agree. Absolutely. Anyone who says otherwise is wrong. Is absolutely fundamentally wrong. Fundamentally wrong. Also, um, I can't explain to you how good the foiling is, how it moves over his armor. You get kind of a good idea of that, but, but the foiling his, is... But like, not his arm? Yeah, yeah, see? It ignores, like, his flesh. There's a bit of foiling on his flesh, but it's a different type of foiling, and it's a lot less. It's very good. That's cool. It's amazing. So really happy with that one. It, the, I, everything about it is amazing. Really high quality cards. Really high quality cards. These ones here. So yeah, some amazing stuff in that booster. Alrighty. Elemental token. Soldier token. The second last booster before our booster off. Grey Violet. Yeah, absolutely correct. Probably the best start of Chaos War. 
Has the foiling changed? So not entirely. Um, every time we get kind of more and more product as the game kind of progresses, their foiling gets better and better. But it's just more like, it's not so much changed foiling, it's just foiling that kind of takes elements of a card and then t t it like omits elements of another part of the card. If we buy $70 in singles, are we eligible for the old dart foil soaring? Unfortunately not. No, That's only sealed, sealed Magic the Gathering product. Collector pieces are printed in America, so they look different, which is also just true. That is also, like, the actual cards themselves are a little bit different, but this foiling here is the same foiling you get if you got it in a different booster type. Compared to Japanese printed, yeah. But they are, regardless, either way, even, because, like, the foiling might be a little bit different in saturation and different, like, um, quality, but it's still going to have the breakaway of the foiling. Like, that's not going to change. That's an artistic choice, not like, yeah. a, not like a mechanical choice. Like, it's an artistic one. So, yeah, this will this will look like this no matter what card you get. But it's amazing anyway. Now, where was I? <laughs> um... I... Next pack. Am I on the next pack? Yeah. Wait, I... yeah I... Chaos Sword was the last one because I had an yeah. elemental token. Oh yeah, of course. There was one last booster. All right. All right, chat. Whoa. Before we do the boost again. Uh, okay. It doesn't pick up through the stream. Yeah, that's what I thought. I didn't think it could. I didn't think it could show up. It's hard. Like, you get to see a little tiny bit of it, but it's not like what I'm trying to show you guys. Don't worry. Come into Vault Games, Lower Ground, 60 Queen Street. They'll be in the cabinet. You'll be able to see them unless they get bored. But of course, that'll be you, won't it, chat? That'll be you. So... And I'm talking about, that's right, that's you specifically, not like the whole of chat, that's you, behind the screen right now, you personally, you, you're going to buy the card, so keep in mind. The first set with foils from Urza's Legacy didn't bend, quality has come a long way. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's true. That's its own little, like, bit there, isn't it, Stray Ballot? Alright, so, Agony Warp, Monastery Swift Spear in the foil. Hang on. Oh, you're good. Feels like Monastery, I keep, is it with an E or an A or an O? Yeah, essentially. Yeah, <laughs> I know that vibe, dude. All right, and then we've got Dreg Mangler. That's a nothing card. We've got Coiling Oracle in the foil. Do you want to look this one up? Just in case. I don't think so, but just in case. No. No. Perf Process Emissary. Civic Saber. Jeskai Charm. Thought Scour in the non-foil Borderless. Very nice. Can we do a channel points prediction for who wins the booster challenge? Of Absolutely. course we will. We'll get it up yeah. once this is over. We'll here. have that up as soon as possible, guys. Do not stress. We'll have that up. We'll have a little miniature two-minute break while we drink water and talk about the set. Young Pyromancer is next. Amazing card. Non-foil? Yep. Cool. We have a foil Ooh. copy of Terminate. It's a very nice Terminate. It's, one that, it's my favorite of Terminate of all time. It's definitely my favorite one. Some sort of giant lizard bat thing. Yeah, we shot it. No, nothing to clean up. <laughs> very good flavor text. Marvel pilled flavor text. Yeah, exactly. It's very good flavor text. He had told me that joke personally, so I've heard that joke multiple times now. All right. Boros Garrison in the foil. Poor dinosaurs. I know, I know. Poor dinosaurs. Cool. It is a... Backdraft Hellkite. I gotta sleep this, remember? Mm-hmm. $58. $58. We got the Pithing Needle next. Whoa-ho. Might have spoiled some cards there. Pithing Needle is next. Whoa-ho-ho. If, di if dinosaurs are so great, why are they all dead? Yeah, that's what uh, I keep saying. Foil or non-foil? Non-foil. Oh, that looks really good. It's really nice. Wait till we see the next card. You excited? Chat, are you ready? It's an etched foil copy of Kozalek. Butcher of Truth. Absolutely ridic ridiculous. Ridiculous. He's, uh, his textured foil is currently 11.59. Oh my god, what? There was, oh there my was god. no cents mentioned in that number, by the way. Yeah, no, $1,100. Oh my god. And then lastly... That one's 213 The Dalkin Orrery! Whoa! In the ex oh, borderless foil chat. Oh my god, this is so exciting. Oh, it's so exciting. Ooh, cozy. Yeah, it's 217, that one. What a. <laughs> Those two cards paid for the box as well. Yep, pretty easily. All right, I'm going to. Yeah, let's get it. I'm going to set up the prediction now. Who will win the booster highest value? 
Who will win? All right. So uh, we You've have got two minutes. Go. Start predicting, everyone. Is this a normal box? So this is not quite just a normal box. Today we have opened a draft booster box. We have actually opened two of the absolutely ridiculously incredible Double Masters 2022 Collector Boosters. Overall, what you guys... It's so shiny, guys. You can see all of me in it. Like, literally, look at this. Hello, everyone. Hello. So this is... We opened two of these boxes. Um, and every booster you saw was two of these boxes overall. But we're not kidding when we say one of those boosters paid for one of these boxes and then one of the boosters paid for another box. We still have two boosters to go, chat. Oh my, oh my gosh. Amazing stuff, chat. Amazing stuff. So we've got so many awesome cards. So many amazing high value pieces among this. Consecrated Sphinx, just amazing pull. Aminatu, you've got, oh, the Phyrexian Altar, the Privileged Position. It's all just such that gorgeous siren song in the chat come on all in cowards all in cowards come on cowards all in you got it all in it guys come on come on chat who's voting who's Pega voting put where? all their points into me Who, who's that pega put all their points into me oh don't tell people where they put their points come on you don't know let me know what you know Be secret all right this is the only card that i really want chat oh my god i want it so badly i want it so badly i put it all in trend oh thank you smackle thanks guys Pega Paints, it's not, it's not really about like me losing, it's more about making me work for it. That's why Pega Paints puts it into Dylan. Because Pega Paints needs Trent to work for it. Dylan! What? We're not done! You were wrong! What? I put I opened a booster pack. And, and I and I put it to the down, and then I was like, I've got to where it is, and you're like, no, that's the last one. I have one. Chat! Hold on! Hold on! Oh my god. Hold on! We're not done yet. Well, Give it a second. Well, keep, well, they can predict why we're doing this yep. then. All right. So, let me go through this one, chat. Oh, we got that carrier thrall again. Man just finds another pack. Man just finds another pack. Coming in with the steel chair. All right, Rakdos, Carnarium in the foil. It's $2. Yeah, right. Yep. Monastery Swift Sphere comes back in the borderless non-foil. <laughs> Pega Paints gets it. They believe in me. I, I got it right this time. I believed in you, dude. I knew you could do it. We've got Flicker Wisp! This is me when I realize that the Flicker Wussy isn't real and I'm in very, very mortal danger. Anyway, so. Foil Kasali Prime Mage is next! Honestly, could do pop with this set alone. Exactly. Deckham says, please stoip. <laughs> please stop. <laughs> I'm so sorry, chat. Uh, I'm so sorry, chat. Foil Inquisition of Kozilek as well. Amazing. Amazing. Flickwussy. <laughs> sorry, chat. I'm a young boy at heart listening to No, the flicker russy. The flicker russy. Exactly. No, the flicker russy. Um, so, wouldn't play our bridge. Fl wouldn't it be the flicker wussy? The, that's what I said. Flicker wussy. Yeah. yeah. But no, maybe. I don't know. Flickerussy. Any of them work. The Flussy. All right? The flussy. Let's cut all the middlemen out. Me when I know that the, when I realize the Flussy isn't real. <laughs> I'm in very mortal danger. <laughs> <laughs> it's a damnation, Dylan. Oh my god. It's a god. damnation! I need one of those. I know. Who doesn't? Oh my god. It doesn't even have a price. Oh my god. No price insane. in the system yet. And then my last card, second last card, this booster. Forbidden, Forbidden orchard. orchard etched foil. You know, I'm really, ha I'm kind of happy with the with the etched foils this time around because the last ones were very upsetting. Exactly. I just want to add that um, Pescalanum is saying, pretty sure it doesn't matter. Little, it'll flicker out before you get it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so glad to be a patron of this very professional business. <laughs> Thanks, guys. We appreciate you guys here too. <laughs> Lastly, it is Liliana, the last hope. Is that regular? No, foil? just regular foil. Uh, don't don't get too. I, trust me, I would be screaming. It's just the foil, but it is absolutely gorgeous. And for those in the back, it is a bear token. Flips over for a night. It's still two hundred and twelve dollars. It's still that amazing. pack alone was four hundred and something dollars. Yeah, so I'm glad we didn't miss it. All right, <laughs> I'm glad we didn't <laughs> skip it. <laughs> Let me chat. Just... I just love how like we're so fucking shit at this. We had eight boosters to no six. We had six boosters to track chat, and we couldn't. We get still to... fucked it up. We still fucked it up.
<laughs> What's wrong with us? All right, uh, I'm exporting stuff. that out to get the value now. So make sure you get your predictions in if you haven't already. Yeah, be quick about it. Uh, it's probably it's probably over now. Yeah, I was going to say two minutes, right? So it's probably over by now, but hey. It is. Uh, Trent has 52% of the channel point vote. Whoa. All right. That's kind of actually crazy, though. That's only 2% up on my end. That's pretty hilarious. All right. And I'm just going to quickly do the math on how much we got before those last two boosters. Um, Siren Song's... Oh! Th Siren Song! Siren Song! Oh my god, you're back! Oh! We're almost at the end. We haven't done our pack yet, but you have to get into the website. You have to get onto our website. You have to get onto our website, Siren Song. Get on right now, as soon as possible. Get involved. Get involved. Yeah, I know, I know. Get involved. I'll put this one aside while you jump on the website. <laughs> so many amazing cards, chat. Everything is super, super amazing and gorgeous. It's all oh, so amazing. Our first booster Siren Song, we actually pulled two Smothering Tights in the same pack in our first booster Siren Song. So I'm just, I'm just catching up Siren Song chat. Very exciting stuff. Super exciting stuff. What an amazing, what an amazing set of boosters. Right. Again, be very careful how, whenever I'm touching these boosters. So our pulls so far have been rich. Fundamentally rich. Where are you getting your reference prices from? Um, so our prices are pulled directly from a lot of different sources, but mostly from TCG Player um, immediately. So a lot of our prices will be using the TCG Player prices. So anytime prices aren't up, it's because there's not like a... Was there a food chain pulled yet, Stray Violet says? Um, not quite. Well, ch chat, you never know. You never know. This is mine. This is Dylan's. You never know. We could get two food chains. So right now, Dylan's just bringing up this value we've got so, but, so far. NDP314 in the uh, chat. Thank you guys. And by the way, I just want to say another one, guys. Thank you guys so much for everyone who's been in the chat. I really, really appreciate every... Thanks, Siren Song. That's how you pre-order your Double Master 22 cards right now. You jump on the website right now. You can find all the cards. You can find this whole pile of boys in there. All right. So two collector boxes at retail value is 449.99 times two. Yeah, and the booster box is... Five four nine. Equals that. Okay, so out of the collector boosters we've opened so far. Now, keep in mind we've only opened six of the eight collector boosters. Correct. So we've only opened. We six. have pulled three thousand one hundred forty-two dollars and fifty cents worth of value. That is three hundred and forty-nine percent above the retail value of the two boxes we opened. So that's 349% of the retail value. Yeah. So that's that's 249% on above. Top. Yeah. On top. yeah. Amazing. 200% um, of some of the most expensive products we have ever opened on stream. That is 249% of the most expensive product chat. That's something I can't stress enough. I cannot stress that enough. Our value right now for the whole opening so far is 303%. That is 203% above the retail cost of these products. Isn't That's that insane? Insane. Yeah. So now, obviously, chat, we are talking about the prices in the pre-order season. So the prices are going to be like pushed and fluctuated towards a higher end, okay? So there is a layer where as the cards get older and they start to enter the space, they get a little bit um, like less expensive and they become more affordable. Now. The cr yeah, the product, and that's really what it comes down to, Pega Paints. This is not luck. We have some good luck. Like, two smothering tries and one booster is not unlucky. Like, we're very lucky. But this product is just cracked. We opened so many packs today that got close to, but almost often over, you know, the box itself. So, yeah. Yeah, very, very good value chat. Those collect the collector boosters, like, the etched foil alone seems to pay for the entire booster. Um, I want to also add, uh, sorry to interrupt Dylan, but I also want to add very quickly, um, Straybar asks, our damnation is $0 on the website. If I order it now, is it that price? Lol. Uh, lol being a joke, because yeah, obviously not, guys. If you buy any cards that come out at $0 in our system, you can be assured they will never re be received by you and they will never leave our store because it's likely they are either not here or we will update their price accordingly. Just high value, high reward. Exactly. <laughs> There is a layer where obviously you could get very unlucky, and that's one important point I have to make. We haven't gotten super unlucky. Oh, damnation's disappeared now off the side. 
Oh, it's gone. No, no, I mean, like, yeah. I, I, I know. I, I turned it off the side. You turned it off. I know, I know. I was like, I was just, oh my God, it's gone. That I'll just crazy. hide that until we have a price for it. Exactly. Thanks sorry. for letting us know, though, Straight Violet. We're sorry you can't have a zero So it doesn't damnation. even count the damnation. Which yeah. The foil is 720. So I would probably say, like, the base one on that is at least 200. Yeah. 200 around 230, I would say. So. Jesus Christ. All right. Well, let's stop our talking. We have the votes in. We have Dylan's pack, my pack. Yeah. Are sorry. we ready to crack? Yes. I know. Dylan, Dylan's. He's got his hand in his hands, folks. Let's get excited. We're I'm, gonna a, I'm a bit this. of a I'm a bit of a sn staff nerd, so. So now, chat normally he is a very yeah he is, uh, I can I can confirm this chat. Dylan is a nerd. Now I am going to uh, we're <laughs> going to not show Thanks, man. you're very welcome. We're not going to show chat. It's, it's from love. We're not going to show chat the uh, my cards I open yet. I'm going to get other cards. So the first one, two, three, four, five, six cards. So the first borderless. Um, no, both... there should be one card before the borderless, but it's usually a higher end, like higher. Uh, it's not. Yours isn't. <laughs> no. Well, you did not get lucky, my friend. Oh, you lost. <laughs> oh, sorry. All right, let's get started. Let's get started. I'm so excited. We're gonna start with Dylan's pack because I we started with mine last time. Yeah. All right. That's definitely the yeah, reason. Yeah. All right. That's yep. definitely the reason. Yeah. Yeah. That's definitely. That's 100%. it. Yep. That is the exclusive reason. No worries, we're mate. Starting with Dylan's packs. Well, all right. I'm very excited already. Uh, Siren Song is going to be right back, but we you're going to miss out on something. Yeah, we can't hold up. I'm sorry, Siren Song. So you better <clears throat> be quick. Bad timing to lead the stream. Wait, what? Wait, what's wrong, Pega Paints? Wait, can you let me catch the lift before we crack? I don't want to miss this. Oh, i We did miss that message. Come on, let's. Oh, okay. Let's just chat. You know what? Let's just talk for a second. Let's slow down for a second. Let's talk about this pack. Let's look at these cards. We've been very excited. We've been yelly. But I do want to talk about some important stuff, and that is that um, it's important that we look this, at. Sorry, just before we continue, are you one hundred percent sure you want me to get this? I think I am. Like if, like unless it's like, unless you're telling me this, are you saying this? Yeah. Then I will. Then you probably need to go second. Then I, I can keep <laughs> with that. If you have this, did you see it? I didn't see your pack. So okay. if you have this, then I probably need you to go second. You probably do. <laughs> There's no way. Probably. Fucking Jesus, chat. No, I was so conf... All right, we'll start with me. You know what? I'll take Dylan's <laughs> word for it. I'm going to start with me. All Siren right. Song's back. Siren Song's back. We haven't kicked it off, Siren Song. Don't worry. We were about to ignore you and kick it off, but we saw your earlier message, so we're going to kick it off now. We're waiting for you. We're ready to go. Okay, chat. Let's get Trent's value together, and let's see how many of Dylan's cards could beat my entire booster. All right. So, it's a foil path to exile to start this off. We already oh, if, have if chat. If we're doing that, okay, then you can... No, that was my sixth, yeah. Yeah, you can add that on the final one. Oh, okay, sure. <laughs> yeah, we'll add that. That's a it's huge value, huge value. So it kicks off with a foil, exile. path to exile. Path to exile, seven feet. No, no, uh, Pregnant Paints, don't worry. We haven't swapped any cards or anything, nothing like that. We're just deciding whose pack we show off first. That's all. Do not worry. Yeah. Pega Paints, you're going to earn your points. It I've you just, voted for Dylan, I'm just right? making it so more fun. Don't worry, you're going to earn your points. Um, so All that right. we don't lose like the last two minutes of the stream to Trent being mopey. Exactly. So, Path Exile. We follow that up with a Rampant Growth. Rampant Growth is $6. We follow that one up with a Selesnia Sanctuary. Selesnia Sanctuary is $13. Ooh, are you really good? I'm really happy with this already. Cool. Next boost, next card, sorry, is a foil rampant growth. Double ramp. Double rampant growth. That is $12. Next is a foil Golgari Rot Farm. Let's go, chat. Very exciting. That is $20. It's actually interesting because, like, I'm getting confident because I see my number going up and up and up, and I'm like, well, Trent, we haven't got, like, you know, all of Dylan's cards can be foil lands. All right. Oh, ho, ho. foil Allosaurus Shepherd. It is a foil Allosaurus Shepherd. What is this worth? $130. Yes. Let's go. All right. So you are now abut above booster cost. You are fifty dollars. You are fifty nine dollars above the cost of a booster. Well, Dylan, we're not quite there yet. Oh. We have an ex a borderless alternate art Emiel the Blessed from Jumpstart. Yeah, all right. Uh, foil or non foil? Non foil. So that's another fifty nine fifty. My etched foil 
is damnation. Oh my god, chat, it's damn king nation. So that's $723. Oh, oh my, oh, oh my god, chat. Oh my god, chat. I, maybe Dylan does his own words, who knows? No. No, you don't think so? No. Because my, okay, we'll see. I have a borderless foil for Dalkin Orrery. A borderless foil for Dalkin Orrery, which I remember being around the $200 mark. How did, was it E K E N? Yes. The Delta. A A it's A L K E N. Sorry. V E D. Um A L K E N. I had Veld. Ah. Uh, because I'm an idiot. This set right. is absolutely cracked, yeah. Uh so you had a foil borderless. That's yes. another two hundred and seventeen fifty. Yeah, I thought it was around the two hundred dollar mark. Alright. Is that everything? That, my friend, is everything in my booster. What did we get to for the chat? Uh you have one thousand one hundred and eighty nine dollars. What? What? Whoa, chat! Alright, don't look at the screen. Don't look at the I'm screen right now. Screen. I'm not gonna look at the screen. I'm, gonna, I'm not gonna look at the screen. I'm not looking at the screen. I'm looking away, chat. Dude, don't worry. Cool. Alright. Uh, I'm still not concerned. Ah, I know. I know. Don't worry. Alright, so... Let's start it with a river hoopo! Oh. It's a bird! I'm not even gonna look this one up. We're not even look it up. Gruel Turf! So that's 1750. We've got Boros Garrison, another land in the borderless. That's at eleven dollars. Cool. We've got Burning Tree Emissary in the foil. That is twenty-five dollars. Little G, little G. We believe, Dylan. Pega Paints is believing. Do not worry, guys. Do not worry. It's a foil Monastery Swift Spear. That's a big one. That's a big one. I feel like that's a big one. Uh, it is thirty-five. Yeah, 50. that's the most expensive common I think, or up there. Yep. So we've already got that down the tube. That's a wilt leaf liege as your foil rare, which is quite isn't quite an Alasaur Shepherd. No, it isn't. Not quite an Alasaur Shepherd. Don't worry, chat. Dylan needs the one card. Don't worry. It's always as we get further to the back. As we get further to the back. Again, I promise you, chat. I have not seen it. I do not know what I'm getting my hands in. What I got myself in for. Cool. It's a Phyrexian altar. In the full art, uh, the borderless, it's not foil. Ooh, I love this Phyrexian altar though. That's 138. Oh, that's followed up with an etched foil panharmonicon. That's 126.50. Insane. All right, so chat, what is the, what is my value minus your current value, Dylan? I just want to know uh, how much money you need to make in your next card to beat me. So your current, your value is 1189 and mine's 358. Imperial Seal incoming, yeah. Smackle might be right. 1189 minus 1189 minus 358 is, my card needs to be worth 831. All right. I may be just shy of it. Oh, all right, chat. Are you ready? Are you ready? It is... Ren and six. Oh, it is in the texture. Oh, Dylan. Oh my God, chat. I can't stress enough what this looks like, chat. It is insane. Did I win? You won. Yes! Chat, get annihilated. I beat the textured. How much does this card go for though? 760. Whoa. Wait, so it's almost the same as Damnation. Dam How much was Damnation? It was a lot. My, my Damnation was fucked. It was like most of my pack. Nilma called it! Amazing chat. No, Pega Paints! Pega Paints! Yeah, Damnation was, was 723. There it is. You were supposed to bring balance to the force! Look, when I saw the textured foil, I was pretty goddamn confident. No, you right? should be. You should be. No, no. I'm glad you made me pick you second, though. I'm glad. I'm glad. Because that is... That is your booster was way more enjoyable than mine, I will say. Um, you know what? There was only 6% separating us. <laughs> like, it was pretty close. Stray Violet says, rigged. <laughs> like my Sphinx deck. My Sphinx deck is not rigged. Nah, no, it super is. <laughs> it super is rigged. So, uh, I gotta choose the outcome. Trent this set is the most cracked product they will ever release. Calling it now. Siren Song, don't say that. It, only, it can only get, go up. It can only go up. So, if we casually add in <laughs> that, fucking, those two. <laughs> the $2,000 almost worth of fucking cards. Oh, so the, 20, the 2300 of cards we just <laughs> added. Oh, 
Oh my fucking god, chat. I am literally losing it. Did just, yeah, did that 336 just skyrocket? Uh, hang on, hang on, hang on. So it's now 5400, and we are now six times the value of a bar. Holy, 600% the value of a bar? Well, 600% 600 the value of two boxes. Two boxes, sorry. Yeah, sorry, two boxes. So, yeah, that's great, though. So, we, yeah. yeah. Holy fuck. In all, because that's everything from those first boxes. So we made, yep. we made 500% in value. Yep. Now, again, chat, we cannot stress this enough. It is very important that you understand as well that this is the pre-order season. It's really early in the season. That's why some of our cards didn't even, weren't even in our inventory because very rarely will those cards retain that exact value. But even if our cards lose half of their value, they drop by half every single fucking card, we're still far over our box. And I can promise you, chat, and we are that some of these cards will be going up. We not are four hundred and sixty-three percent up on the retail value of what we open today. Stray Violet in the chat says the seal will retain value. There are going to be so many cards in the set that retains value for sure, but not all of them. Holy shit! Oh fuck! Whoa! Oh my god, chat! Oh, uh, get these goddamn cards now! Yeah, um... get these cards today, chat! Oh my gosh! Now again, these prices may go down. But our inventory on the cards also will. So make sure. Thanks for the points, Trent. You're very welcome, Bear Bros. You're very welcome. And you know what? You can thank Pega Paints actually for putting so many points into a losing team. <laughs> <laughs> I, I did get the I get, did get the highest value card. Look, you win on the highest value yeah. card for sure. The moral victories. The moral victories. <laughs> yeah, you get to have that. <laughs> All right, chat. Well, we. That we was are, good. We that are was so really good. thankful that you guys were here for the whole stream. Thank you guys so much for everyone in chat, everyone who's been here, everyone who's been talking, playing with the points, just being part of the experience. Maybe I shouldn't invest with this luck. Yeah, exactly. Thank you guys so much again. Uh, if you're on Discord, jump through that Discord in the chat. Um, oh, yeah. I'll put yeah. Discord. Yeah. If you're on Discord, talk Join about the Discord. it. Join the Discord. We're talking about this new set. We're talking about Magic. We're talking about every set. Commander, Pauper, Draft, Limited, if Sealed, whatever. We're talking about it. Jump on the Discord. Talk to us. If you're in Brisbane, come along, play at Bolt. We have all these cards in our inventory. We have these cards in our events. We've got a big event coming up on Saturday. Come along. Awesome stuff. If you're uh, on YouTube, like, subscribe. You know the basics. Yeah, it's going to six dollars and see because against real retail value product. It's crazy. It's a crazy good chat. Crazy good chat. Again, um, it, like if you're on the stream and you're a first time chatter, I saw a couple of first time chatters. Thank you guys so much. Chuck us a follow. We do really appreciate that. Um, even if you don't necessarily want to watch us immediately in the next stream we do, um, come back next week for more Cracker Box or uh, in the future for more Cracker Box. It'll depend on how this product goes. This was a very spiky opening. I mean, we we didn't luck out, like I mentioned. Um, but Oh my God, Lucid Angel TV. Thank you so much, chat. Follow. Yeah, that's all we ask, guys. Thank you so much. We fucking, we super appreciate the follows, guys. It means so much. It helps us keep doing this. Helps me stay behind this hot seat. Um, yeah, that's all I have. Dylan, take us away. Thanks so much for joining us. Uh, I believe you said everything. I pretty well said everything. Oh, yeah. um, it, ring the bell and like and subscribe if you're on, yeah, YouTube. If you're on if you're, YouTube. If you're still here on YouTube, if, man, thank you so much. If you're on YouTube, let us know what was your favorite card out of the set. What yeah. were you for us to pull? I really wanted a Dockstar Extortionist, but you know what? I'll take what we got. I literally, literally, I didn't even notice that we didn't pull one of those. Yeah. So that's kind of sad now. That's fair. That's a little bit of a somber note for the stream. We did not open a Dockstar Extortionist, but you know what? Who needs that chunky little monkey? You know what? That's what I keep saying. <laughs> All right, stay safe, everyone. Wash your goddamn hands. If you sneeze, you know what? Never mind. Thanks hey, for guys. the follow, AJ Have a great one. Thanks for the follow. See you guys next time. What an opening. I know, right? <laughs>